Hello? Hello? Ah. Hello? Hello? Battery fully charged. Thanks, headphones lady. You always know, know just what to say. fully charged hello yeah I was thinking about the stream schedule uh, earlier and I was like can I should I move it to uh, to uh, to an earlier time little guardsman it is uh, because see now I'm I've noticed myself stuck in this thing now you know the the usual thing when you have something to do later in the day that you it doesn't feel worth starting or doing anything else because you're you're gonna have to stop anyway and do other stuff 
You know, like if you're having company or you're going away in the afternoon, you're like, ah, I shouldn't, it doesn't matter. I could, I, there's not enough, I shouldn't start anything because I'm going to have to stop it anyway when I leave. So I've noticed myself just waiting for stream. Uh oh, there's an ad coming. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So is their ad starting? Let me push this button first. Let me see. Let, let, let us see how my, uh, how my scars look today. Oh, it's not so bad. You can't really tell that much. I've, I've maked up to them quite a bit to try to cover the red because <laughs> they're still red. I'm still very red. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's better than this. Um, so it's an improvement. Anyway, it works. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's a blemish inhibiting, hel healing helping cream on, and then there's also makeup on. <laughs> but hey, I think it works. Um, anyway. I haven't decided yet. I was just thinking, like, what time would feel better for me to stream? Um, and obviously there's some people who can't make those streams if I do move them. Uh, but, on the flip side, there's probably people who can't make this stream now who could make an earlier stream. So, time zone-wise, it's always gonna, like, be a little messy. Uh, I just feel like what what would work for my workflow, and I think if I streamed, if I started streaming earlier in the day, then when I finished the stream, I would still have like time and energy in the day to do other stuff, like work on other things, rather than as it is now, I kind of just get up late and just lazy around and wait for stream to start instead. Uh, so maybe we'll do like a mix of the two or something where I like have early streams in the weekdays or and late streams in the in the weekends or something like that because weekends are more chill anyway so we gotta like hang out late at night and have a glass of wine and stuff mm -mm -mm. so yeah maybe we'll do earlier stream some days earlier stream in the weekdays or something I haven't decided. I have to think think what works better. See, the problem you run into with earlier streams is that if I do have appointments, they are also probably earlier. Um. Like on Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm going to the haircut place at 11.30. But I still have Thursdays and Tuesdays. Hmm. Um. Because like I I wanna I wanna figure out a schedule for like a daily routine kind of that works for me, that that forces me to not just lay in bed and wait for stream time. So I think if I if I move stream forward in the weekdays at least, then I can do work after streams. Um, but I'll see, I'll, I'll see what fits, what works best, what, what I feel works best, uh, and like where people's time zones are. Cause if it's like in the middle of the night for most people, then it seems pointless. I don't know what time zones would line up with. I know that LA is nine hours behind me and Boston is six hours behind me. And Australia is 11 hours ahead, I think. So it's kind of... We'll see. 
but there might be some changes, but I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll think on it and see, see what feels best. However, for today, it seems as though we need to become a little guardsman. And I did play some of this game on the uh, other channel. Bido Fi. I started this game on the other channel because I didn't know what it was going to be. But then it was really good. And I want to, like, do it with, with y'all. Because it's fun. So let me change the category. Lil Wards. Oh, this isn't gonna go very well. This isn't gonna go very well in terms of views. There's only 10 people on all of Twitch right now watching this game. Popular. Good. I changed all the categories. Hey, we'll double that number now, though. I'm just going to delete my old slot. Okay. And we can explore new possibilities. So, is it loud? It's a little loud to me. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Too calm. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, this is kind of cool. If you're... This is rare to see. And this is something that I mentioned in videos or streams in the past in relation to editing for Sean portrait layouts you can you can leave space for a face cam so like okay I want to put all of the portraits to the right always so I can have a face cam to the left that's very good and you can also choose to turn off a voice like the main character and do the do that person yourself and then all of the NPCs are in-game voices, or vice versa, or both. So that's very cool that you could do all that. And in, if you want to like do voice voice for the main character yourself and have your face cam like green screened out in the corner and stuff, that's very good. Anyway, new game. So it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. It's a weird One start. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision making. The kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. No, I didn't. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. No. Pray things on fire. I haven't. We're all... You'll never come back fire. again. He's got a How curse on you have done this to us? I gotta warn you. Doom. 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 Dang it. Doom. Well, we got doomed, y'all. Well. Yes. Oh, whoops. Turn back. Well, you're still no, shut there. up, man. <laughs> Get out of here. Shoot. Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. Was that very loud? That was pretty very loud, right? The voices? Shh, 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 shh. Cool it. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Out of one nightmare and into another. 
Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. Yeah, we're Lil. We're actually called Lil. So hopefully we never we never go or grow up. Maybe it's a nickname based on our hair size. Well, Dad, you don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Dude, I want to play Goblin oh, Ball. Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I... I want to throw rocks at things. This isn't that kind of game, bud. Shh. I love using the hand for stuff, though. Shh. <laughs> He's got such a little mouth. Tee-hee-hee. hee hee tee hee you Sorry, think Dad. I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. <laughs> Gross. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? Boop. Do you think we'd be stuck here? But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. True. So, if you don't know what this game is, think papers, please. Dungeons and Dragons. Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Kind of. Uh, yes, please. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Kill them all. Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Hey, Mrs. Ah, Abernathy. Good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. I remembered! What's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? I want to be a Mrs. Abernathy when I grow up. Oh, not at all. No. It's always a pleasure oh. to see your daughter, Seamus. Oh. Don't look in my bag, though. That's where I keep my victims. It's Hamish. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. Yeah, I, love, I love stating that your day was plain and boring in a cheaper voice with a huge grin on your face. Oh, plain and boring as always. <laughs> I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? Oh, how very large your glasses are, Grandma. Mm, are you a wolf? Thank you. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. Flamethrower. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Yeah, I do. I get it. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. <laughs> I love this. To speed this I love this tutorial. It's about to start. You can pick one and it does something. Great. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? I wish there was an autoplay, though. I have to press a oh, button no, every time. Not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial first slingshot. No way! <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters! We gotta get to that game! Let's wrap this up, dear. Shamus, <laughs> tell the girl what to do! I have to see the princess whirly gigging the... What was it? The name is Hamish. Hey, Kitty, welcome. Welcome to Papers, Dungeons. Dungeons and Papers, please? Papers and Dragons, please? No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Shut up, Mrs. Abernathy. Also, Malteser and Emmy, thank you for the resubs, by the way. This is a very fun game that I discovered randomly on Steam. Uh, and I haven't seen anyone really sort of talk about it. I haven't seen it pop up much in terms of streams and videos, which I think is a huge shame because the writing and creativity in this game so far from the bit that I played already is fantastic. 
Uh, all right, so first of all, tutorial time, right? We have our board. You know in Papers, Please, you have that little folder with like today's rules. This is that. This is today's rules. So I know this bit. And this is our tools. We can use all of these things. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll and the art style is great as well. Yeah, for sure. That way I have a well-rounded arsenal. Let me know if it's too loud or anything, by the way. Why did the other tools already have crystals in them? I carried them over from previous days. Any it is questions? more wholesome, for sure, but it gets randomly less wholesome, which is what I love. Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? Good point. No more questions. Oh, sorry. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. This x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. But I really want to. <laughs> the lost relic? No humming. Oh, sorry. It's a metal detector. You figure it out. What does it do, though? Spank people? You can use this decoder ring to decode things. I love that it's a decoder not exactly ring. I'm not sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. <laughs> what this? Didn't we cover this? That's your inventory bag. I know. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Slick, bud. What this? You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in. Oh, or dude. Or send them packing. That's wicked. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? What about the old lady? Yeah, I'm finished. Now what happens when you use our trolls? I have no idea. At any point during a turn. But sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can. Okay. By any means necessary. Okay. You can come. Sometimes? Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now. So just pick a damn lever already. You can come, Mrs. Abernathy. It's okay. I trust you. No sweet little old lady would ever be would ever be evil. Goodbye, Ethel Abernathy. Great job, Lee. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch the big game. Oh. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Stapleford Snughorns. Okay. Keep that name in mind. Maybe we can influence the world in such a way that she doubles her bet. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Okay. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? Why, she said the right name, though. My name is Shamish. No, oh. wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. More like I'm being forced to do this. Should we try it's to use it on a troll if it shows up? Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Maybe they explode. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Believe me. He does. Oh, Mrs. Abernathy. Okay, well, you got this. We did it. We solved the tutorial. All of it. <sighs> For science? I feel like maybe we should. Full score as well. You nailed it. Okay, so the day today's rules are if the Castle Guard Corp can achieve a good star rating this month, well, yeah, duh. There will be a pizza party. Oh, sweet. From the Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city held by members of the Mages Guild. If any speakers of the Mages Guild show up, call her office. Okay. Uh, Randy is celebrating 35 years on his post. Hey, good job, Randy. After a six-month undercover operation at the Sprawl, Ca Sprawl Cavern for the Elderly, Cavern, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies, I remember this one, were discovered. I love Grampies. Grampies? Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs in and out of the city. Okay, keep an eye on old people. Depressed Joker sees Sikh's person with funny name. Okay, funny name, old people, and mages. Gotcha. That's a mage for sure. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young gatebinder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. Okay. 
I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Okay. Will you require anything further? Should we say, wait. Let me change the title. Uh, what's better? Dungeons and papers, please? Or papers and dungeons? Paper, papers and dragons? Dungeons and papers, please. Dungeons and papers. and dragons too late i said i already said dungeons and it's what are it, dungeons and papers please it'll do uh hey essek what, what, what's up what's your name tell me stuff what's your speech about oh my dear child it is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body and my speech therefore would only serve to confuse and frighten you Okay. I trust you know what you're talking about. I was just curious. Gosh. I am very glad you agree. Who was I calling? <laughs> Who was it? Was it Ash? What is it? Ash, yeah. Uh, Ash. You got a buddy. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Oh, it no, age, darling. People will escort I'm... to the venue. If anything, too literate. Bye bye. Uh, you can go. Skadoosh. She did call us dumb, but we are peasants, and she is the aristocracy. Uh, aristocracy. The aristocracy. Of and indeed, the entire Mages Guild. Thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Bye bye. Your wand had a s tiny skull on it, though. I don't know if I like that. Nah, you'll be fine. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from their no-good, stingy, low-life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low-life of an ex-husband, Orlando. <gasps> Bloom? His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Hit how? <laughs> no! I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. Okay. Um, right. Well, that sounds great. Should we x-ray her? Are you a troll? What are you? Do you want a sticky bun? No. Um... Tell me, tell me, uh, tell me stuff. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend, Callie's week with them. Ooh. And do you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's fun. Ooh. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kid's writing is so lousy. Decode? I trust you. That letter was pretty much illegible. See what I mean? Horrible, horrible penmanship. Brr. Brr me. Okay, I'll take... It's like a, a, a bassy marge. Instead of like... Mm -hmm. Hold me. Oh, oh, hold me. <laughs> it's hard to do. Decode it. Scoop the boop, beep, 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 boop. Ding dong. I know it now. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. Oh! It says, Come, son, mommy, Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? Oh, shit, dude. Go, mom, go. Oh, my God. My boys don't know how to spell. <laughs> but also, that thing about Kelly being the worst. That's also bad. Go rescue your little kids, mom. Jeez. Go, go, go. Oh, she's got to go rescue her. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Polyphemus. 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 Well, hey! You didn't judge the book by its cover, and you knew to stand in the way, not to stand in the way of the mama bear and her cubs. Oh, that was a bear. 
Jaina, thank you for the 32 months what as well. What is the bloody blazing Welcome blast back. hell is the hold up? Why have Donald we stopped? Duck. Well, well, sir, the guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to or you'll get the whip. Whelp. Yes, sir. Whip, whelp. Now, you, child, let me pass. I no. have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Bank of the Sprawl. Well, that's B. unfortunate. He smacked his little goblin, yeah. Hmm. Not couth. Uh, old people are illegal, though. Should we just call the cops? Tell me stuff. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be hearing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child! No! He shouldn't tra- yeah, exactly. I'm gonna tease you. Oh yes, we mustn't keep you from your ever so important meeting. <laughs> yes, your BS, BS meeting. Right. I feel like there might be a subtle hint that they want me to use the whip. I'll do it. It's tutorial level. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. Did I whip the boy? Why would I whip him? Oh, blood gold. You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? He did. Isn't that illegal? I don't know. It's iffy on he it. He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. It's a form of slang he must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? Yes, sir. W whatever you say, sir. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. I'm gonna take them. I think I need to hold on to these. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. Okay. No, Get out of here! Like that. Uh, can I, like, oh, hand them in? Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. I don't want to profit off of them, though. I want to hand them into evidence. Along with my sticky now, bun. since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable, petty little monster, let me pass. Um, actually, come to think of it, you shall not pass. Blood gold. We've been on the lookout for mules bringing it into the sprawl for years now. Deny this man immediately. Well spotted, guardsman. You are a credit to the force. You got it. What's her name? From... From... Glee? And also... Wreck-It Ralph? You know the lady who's like always mean? <laughs> what was her- what's her name? Uh, no, you can't come actually. Jane Lynch! She would be that one. Thanks, Jane Lynch! It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. I've already pulled the lever, man. There's not none Sir, to be done. The gold! Silence! All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. Get out of here. Want to be Donald Duck cosplay? You foiled a blood gold trafficker on your first day. Damn day. Legend. See, that's what I mean. Sometimes randomly. This game's like, oh, it's kind of a cutesy version of damn day. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's like suddenly there's like, oh, oh. Hello? Oh, hoi, hoi. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? Hello, Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn. This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay, and where exactly is... She... hung up. Rip. 
Okay, Beatrix von Matterhorn. Oh, here he is. Why, hello there. Hello. Come to the Sprawl to participate in capitalism. <laughs> After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the Sprawl? Huh, <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches? Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. But that's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. He's like, okay, so this is this is something that I agreed on with myself the other day. This guy is uh, Pumat Soul from Critical Role Campaign 2 mixed with Stan the Stan Man, the salesperson from uh, Monkey Island. If those two creatures had a baby, this guy would come out. He's right. Everything is in order. Uh, I'm going to call the Joker, though, because he wanted people with funny names. Garby Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. <laughs> OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many M questions. G. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? And what did he do with it? This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. Shut up. I'm helpful. Go on in. Silly man. So now I don't want to help that guy. He's not nice to me. Can you smell that? Sorry. I mean, Fresh what? Barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. That's the reek of opportunity. See you around. Oh, goodbye, Bunches. Character score. Who would have known that a funny name would lead to, con to connecting Jester Malcolm to one of his historical heroes? Good job. Thank you. Okay, so now comes the next twist of this game, because this bit I've done. Ding aw. I don't I've never gotten a full score. I don't know what that means. Sweet. Ah. <sighs> and so another day, another dime. To the dig site. This is also Papers, Please meets Dungeons and Dragons, but it also has time travel. It gets better. Machines like this are relatively are a relatively new discovery in the sprawl. Little notices the words Commander Keen among the inscrutable technical jargon. Ooh. Look at the hole. The hole is so deep you can't see the bottom. They must have a really good ladder guy. <laughs> yeah, what is this standing on, eh? Hey, lady. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. In the box? No, you called me. I'm Lil, we spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do, for the sake of time. Ha! <laughs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. Run away, Lil. Trust me. Run away. You will. What's this? Where exactly am I? Go sit in the box. <laughs> to the greatest archaeological discovery of our lifetimes. I am Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. Okay. But you can call me B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? I would like the long version. 
Hit me with some of that sweet exposition, baby. It's one of those games. One of the few games where I just want, I want them to talk as much as possible because it's fun. This place is known as the dig site. Like it's well-written stuff. How creative. We stand at the site upon which power crystals were first discovered. Ooh. The power crystals that I use for the tools in the guard shed? Those and every other technological marvel of our lifetimes. Tell me more. Tell me more. Can it power a car? Uh -huh. The uh -huh. power crystal was discovered completely by accident. 80 years ago, on this site, an iconic dwarven heavy metal band performed to celebrate the coronation of Princess Desdemona's grandfather, King Artemis. Of course, the heavy metal band. At the moment of a particularly rumpus drum solo, the vibrations opened up a chasm swallowing the entire stage and the musicians and a few dozen enthusiastic fans. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it checks Legend out. Legend says the band emerged from the chasm adorned in the glowing magical rocks, or what we know as power crystals today. That must have looked awesome. That's how they invented power metal. Very awesome, but there's more. Oh. Whether by fate or the actions of an inebriated mage, <laughs> the bass player was struck by a lightning bolt, <laughs> and the crystals in her cape and beard absorbed the electric discharge. Wait, the crystals in her cape and beard... Okay, so they weren't electrical? Oh. Everything that previously relied on magic within a five-mile radius lit up and was charged for weeks. Sweet. Hardcore. Very hardcore. A massive industry sprung up and developed the multitudes of ways we use power crystals, which ushered in an unprecedented era of prosperity for the sprawl, making our city-state the world power it is today. Gotcha. But what does this have to do with me? Good point. I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Odyssey Stardust, by the way. 58 months. Thank you kindly and welcome to... The Sprawl. Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Yes. You may. And what I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? I'm going on an adventure. Push the button. Boop. So I would push the button, but I did push the button when I, when I played this game before. And it just makes you literally redo the Garby Bunches bit up until here. It's like, eh. Yes! Oh, me! Me, me, me! I want to go on an adventure! Wonderful. But before you go off and start pushing buttons willy-nilly, let me explain how I came across this incredible new discovery. Or more exposition, as you might say. <laughs> okay. You see, by transmuting the crystal's more raw and ethereal properties and tethering it to a gnomish astrolab, they can produce temporal anomalies. Of course. That makes sense. Uh -huh. We began experimenting by fashioning teeny tiny harnesses and attaching the crystals to mice and directing radio signals towards them. Okay, checks out. We perfected the process and found that we could send these mice back minutes, hours, even a full day with a less than 13% fatality rate. Pretty good. Blah, blah, microscope, blah, blah, live <laughs> chicken, blah, 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 resonance chamber, blah. Okay, I'll push the... <laughs> okay, so you have to push the button. Peace out! Left freak, says Sheik. Peace out! <laughs> and we're back! <sighs> Wait, what? Where am I? What just happened? Just a little bit of time travel, us all. It's no problem. Let's freak out. I was just at the dig site. Now I'm back here somehow? Oh, quick pants check. No pee at least. Great. Pants check. Okay. Ahoy. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix Von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? Check this out. You were about to tell me you need a gate guard to come down to the dig site, right? 
busted. My word, you gate guards are intuitive. I hope they're paying you a more than fair wage. They probably aren't, the way my dad complains about it. She hung up. Again. I love this combination of like medieval fantasy with 90s technology. You get boom boxes and I've cassette come to the players. To participate in capitalism. Shut up, Let Garby. Me stop you there. You're Garby uh, bunches. We've been through this. I'm sorry. That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. Regardless, here's my vendor license. It's I know, I know, I know. Very good. Here you go. He's right. Every All right. I need to get this. I'll just put put you through. Wait, does that mean that I never told the guy about the guy? The Joker man? Wait, that I means I lose I've out on this already. I remember pulling the lever. Can you smell that? I think then you said something about opportunity. You got it. See you around. I didn't get to call Clown Man though. That means I lost out on ten dollars. Boo. I need to get back to the dig site to figure out what just happened. True. Yeah, it's a fun mix to have to have old and old and new. I, I really miss that vibe of of retro futuristic like like alien and those kinds of things where it's like it's still analog, but it's high tech future stuff. Analog sci fi is very cool to me. I like that aesthetic. Hello? Hello, Beatrix oh, Von Matterhorn. Oh, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? I do. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. Haha. <laughs> My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... ...mological research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been through this before. I'd prefer <laughs> if you called me B. Not convincing, Lil. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kinda of freaking out here. Coinda? No, I'm okay. Wait, why am I you? Um, magic mushrooms. Wait, why am I asking you questions? <laughs> for any of this- I love possible, that I controlled her for a second. Use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Yeah, what else is new? Ursula. Wait, where did it go? Do you mean this? Hey, Pocket Shark. Welcome. Welcome to... My uh, invention! How did you get that? I stole it. You gave it to me. Well, not really. But you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Can you blame me? Yes! But it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. That, that is risk pretty good. becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. It's always a good day when your particles don't get scattered across the universe. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Okay, so I get it. So I think I get the idea, Dr. B. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You'd want that? With all that money, I could pay people to trip and fall over and over again. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Oh, boo. All right. What if I take lottery tickets with me into the guard shed or a little TV to watch horse races on? Mm -hmm. Furthermore, by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. Okay, so this is the stuff that I didn't really get last time I was playing this, because I did this bit, the start bit, so far. So you go back to the start of your shift like the whole day starts over, not you can't do individual characters. However, 
I've hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. Okay, so I can hop back and then time progresses linearly. So if I go back to the first person of the day, I have to do the whole day over again. But if I go back to the second to last person, I only have to do the second to last and last person again. Gotcha. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. Oh, thank you, Beatrice. Von Matterhorn. Ma ma matriarch. Be Trixie. No pressure. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Maybe I should have mentioned I was only working the gate for one day. It wasn't part oh, of the well. deal. I never agreed to not break space and time. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. Yeah, I like my particles kind of kept together. It's just easier to keep track of where you are. If all of your particles are sort of in the general, same general vicinity. I like this as well, like an old-timey medieval bar with neon signs. Oh, hey, Bubufina. Your dad's over there. Oh, okay. Hey, dad. Legend has it that this neon sign was made by a company that makes neon signs. Hmm. That's where they keep the good stuff. Arta will only open a bottle for people she knows will pay their tab. You remember this working when you were little. Pretty great collection of tunes. Your dad always says if was ever save enough money, you get chip in and get it fixed. That's true. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey, there she is. My hardworking angel face sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. I don't think that's her actual name. I did make that up, uh, but it is an actual name of a goose in Adventure Time, Bubafina. Um, hello, Lore. Welcome. What's happening for Tomb Raider? This looks cute. This is pretty cute. We'll do Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider anniversary is is happening uh, as well. Not today. Uh, this one you won didn't the win vote. You gambling, did you? No. But it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet. Shut up, Dad. That'll be 15 gold for the ale. And now we don't have any left. Hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? I don't want to feed into Dad's gambling addiction, so I'm going to say, uh, sozzle. Totes, sozzle, pops. Nothing. Sorry, nothing today. Oh, rats. Rats? Again? I mean, we don't have rats, I swear. It's okay. No, I got not like that. Uh, oh, well. I'll go call my guy anyways. See if he'll front me the money to bet with. Oh. Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Whatever. Just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. I remember to turn off the light. I think. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. But it's super cool, and it only works for me. Super. Sounds, that's good voice acting. You sound so excited, genuinely. It's super cool. Also, I like, I love her facial expression. She totally believes in me, <laughs> don't you think? That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. I Anytime you want to be just like daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. Dad, oh, you're whoops. not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Oh, that's so sweet. 
I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously. Serious? Yeah, she does kind of sound like Ashley Johnson a little bit. A Ashley pitched up, kind of. Okay, okay. I hey, Ashley, are you watching? You're serious. Is this you? Seriously adorable. But honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyways. I probably. This isn't how I expected it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. It's getting late. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Good night, Dad. Maybe someday you'll believe me. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. It totally does. Um, but yeah, no, I, I would love a game just like this, but with the Critical Role characters. Like, if you were just, like, if you could make your own character, and then you sit at the guard station and just admit or don't admit tertiary characters from the Critical Role universe... Like Essek comes by, floats by, or 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 the main characters. That's enough adventure for one day. I'm ready to hit the sack. I'm ready. I'm ready. Promotion. I'm ready. Yeah, I really want them to cooperate with the the developers of this. Hey, developers of this, you should cooperate with Critical Role and make like a sequel or a DLC for this with that. That would be fantastically amazing. Also, I love this. You get like a little, where are they now? After each day. On her way to the bar, Mrs. Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late to make a bet on the big goblin ball game. Her grandson's inheritance is safe for now. Tyronius Athanatos gave his keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedoms and inspired most in the crowd the divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. He is indebted to the councilwoman Ash for her influence in facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. I did that. After Denise picked up her kids, she moved them safely out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, but some they already knew. Donald Duck, due to your cunning confiscation and denying the old coot, Grumpkin T. Dankworth was unable to make his sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to BS, Bank of the Sprawl. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day as of an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground. Mr. Dankworth refused to donate money to have it rebuilt. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Garby Bunches. Garby found a vacant plot of land in the alley behind the Twisted Sisters tavern, tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. Fantastic. Good morning! You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. <laughs> Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines... It was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. <laughs> No, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. But then again, neither did my ex-wife. <laughs> hey -yo! With multiple suitors making their way into the city, expect backups and delays across all major routes this morning. Now let's get to the music. You're listening to The Morning Crawl here in the Sprawl with Dodger and the Ham. Aw. I got you, babe. I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck. But I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. Been a fan of yours since the first time I saw your human fall flat with Sean. You were hilarious together. Love your shill vibe. And the heart was like a sleep playthrough. was fantastic. Keeping awesome. Thank you, Lara. I'm glad you enjoy your stay or the content. Yeah, I, I, I'm... Uh, 
I was mentioning this before as well, but I'm planning on moving some streams to earlier in the day so that I have more time later in the day to do more videos and stuff. Because I'm trying to, at the moment, I'm trying to script uh, a breakdown of Avatar versus Avatar. Like the cartoon versus the Netflix remake. The good Netflix remake. Um, but I, I, it's hard to, it's hard to find a good workflow for the day where I can fit in energy for streams and energy for for making making videos we'll see but um i've also actually do you want to know a secret i have actually recorded and edited and exported ready to go like five minecraft episodes that i recorded before christmas even and i just haven't posted because i haven't finished the series so i feel like i don't want to post it and let people down an angsty band for tweens and teens at heart Oh, tweens at heart. Is this the gorillas? The dragons? Ramones? I got you, babe. A note? Dear Lil, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Maybe he Dad. wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the chronometer 3000 today. Here. Oh, whoops. Why would he need underwear if he already made it down there without them? And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? Squidward? Many questions. Future! Hey Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Oh. But I need my job for gambling. I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. You and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole-ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. Sweet, those are my favorite type of bonuses. You mean if we get more four-star results, we'll make more money? You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. We did stop a bad man. I still have the and gold, that, though. I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. No, he was celebrating his 35th year as a guardsman, though. Not Randy. That guy's a riot. What happened Which is to Randy? exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Oh, Randy, 35 years on the force. And this is how he goes out. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. Ah, uh, frickin' Randy. Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. Yeah, I did. No, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here while you go bet on goblin ball games. No goblin ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty, and they specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. Ooh. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. Frodo? But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. Thanks, Dad. Oh, Dad, you really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. Here, sh here, twelve-year-old child, have some of these illegal batteries that might explode. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better, or we're out on our asses. Okay. No. Nope. That doesn't sure. feel fair. That's you can't have a star system, but then also say that you have to get. Then what's the point of a one star even? Oh. Malcolm, rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arth arsonist. Oh, 
Malcolm. Rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Okay, so a painter to Malcolm. Uh, imminent two envoys. Yeah, the two envoys. Duchess of Scarborough's as if the Sprankles. Feline companions Sprankles shall be receiving its miniature royal... Arriving in its miniature royal carriage. Okay. Two envoys, painter, and the sprinkles. All right. Truth spray is good. X ray is good. I feel like this one is going to be kind of pointless because most people wear metal armor, do they not? Let's grab a. Which one is the most useful, decoder or whip? I'll do whip with a real gem and then we can put the dodgy ones. We put the dodgy ones in the ring and this one. There you go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if dad, dad seems to, hey, painter. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Dad seems like one of those people who isn't necessarily a bad parent, but also isn't a good parent because he just isn't a parent. We're the parent in the relationship, which isn't a good a good look, I think. Yeah. He's a, he's a Scotsman, of course, I think. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Right. Right you are. Uh, let me s wait. What do you got? Paint stuff and paint and stuff. Should we spray him? I mean, we know he's coming. I don't see any reason to doubt him. Let's just call the man. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. That's a good point. What is water polo, if not a horse in water? What? <coughs> Sweet. Well, on you go, sir. Skidoosh. That's got to be a three star at least, right? I didn't hel hold him up. I didn't do nothing unnecessary. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Out of these? Blue. I like blue, I guess. Then I, I shall paint. Shirt. Whatever it is I'm painting, blue in your honor. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Thank you again. Oh, what? What do I need to do else? I guess I could rewind. No. Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad. It's David Mitchell. Prince Phineas, oh son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Farabelle, daughter of King Algernon, son of Queen Rebecca, ah. daughter of King Timothy, oh. son of Queen Sasparella, ah. daughter of King Finbar, son of Queen Anne. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Wow. Okay, I think I got it. Sweet. Do you want a sticky bun? Can I throw this at you? It's a buns. Well, all right. Um, uh, um, uh, should we spray him a little bit? Whip him. Oh, I feel like this guy's 
This guy loves the whip, don't you think? Let's whip mm, him. That seems a little harsh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I won't. Prince Phineas himself would arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petrard. Okay. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Sweet. That sounds like it's going to be quite a party. Oh, yes. One of the greatest oh. events of the season. Yeah. I thought I might be asked to play my bugle for the occasion, uh, but the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. <laughs> can we can we do that again, but just a little more nasal? Oh my! You go on, sir. Have a have a riot. Don't start a riot, though. Have one. Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. Offer? If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. Yeah, I will meet you gold. at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Shut up. I don't take bribes. I only steal them, apparently. Ding dong. What? Oh my. I, oh. oh, this guy. Good afternoon, child. I would like Puss to enter boots. this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. This is the best. Look, this is what I did. I have to do this. Look, he's got a hat shaped hole in his heart. Oh. When you lose something that has been a part of you, that has defined you for so long, it's like you're missing a piece of your very soul. Such emotion. That's pretty deep for someone talking about a hat. Oh, You go on, sir. Go on. Find your hat. Find yourself a hat. Do you want a sticky bun? I hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow, has that guy got a fantastic new hat? <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind. Bye-bye. I loved you in Puss in Boots too. You provided no obstacle for him to chase his dreams. He'd tip his hat in gratitude if he had one. Oh, too soon. Here we go. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. <gasps> the Praetor bid me say directly to the princess, Egtag Maia Kora Una Guahatag. Of course. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. It's okay, Zarya. Hail Praetor Cargan! Kapla! I don't think you get more or less stars for using more or less items, but I do think that each of them has like a thing to solve that will make it easier for them or better for them. Like uh, for Garby Bunches, like if I had just admitted him, I think I gotten I would have gotten three stars. But since I called Malcolm and made him like, oh, that's his thing. That was the thing that was his thing <laughs> that then I got an extra bonus. What's up? I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to So you have to like them. figure out what their need is and also fulfill that, not only let them in or out. I think. I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. Thank you. Nice. I got a head. Very good. Oh my god! Um, thank you for the gift. Open it. This is how you know I am worthy to deliver the words of the Praetor to your princess. 
No, I believe you. Thanks. Um, do we want to like? I I no. I I don't feel like I I trust you. Go on. You have honor, little one, and shall always be a friend of the Marvag. And now, to fulfill my mission to speak the Praetor's words to the princess, Kapla! Kapla to you too. Oh, she's a trekkie. Oh, what, what did I miss? Okay, fine. Three stars is fine. <clears throat> as long as it's over two. But, <laughs> this guy. Whoa there, Lucy. Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona, as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Okay. Well, unfortunately... If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. Unfortunately, our writ stated that two envoys would be showing up. One for the fancy people and one for the Klingons. And also your horse is made out of not horse. Should we whip him? Whip him. Whip the horse. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Don't you mean nay? Oh! Oh! It's not what we signed up for, Beverly. Can we get our ten bucks now? All right, all right. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the gallant Sir Beverly Knight of really? minor renown. <laughs> I'm just an envoy to plain Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium, which is actually me. Shh! Say no more. I've been watching the princess launch the ceremonial first slingshot at Goblin Ball matches for years now. Our eyes locked during one such slingshotting, and she smiled. Oh. My heart has been hers ever since that day. Also, I spent all my money on this costume, and I don't have any left to pay the horse. <laughs> this. We're out of here. <laughs> okay. You better go too, Beverly. Aww. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. Yeah. But know this. There is no force more powerful than love. You know what, Beverly? I feel like I would let you in. I, you know, who am I to say if, if, the, if you're the right for the princess or not? That's not for me to decide. But I guess I can You can't. have not seen the last of Beverly. Late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. On, Lucy. Yeah, he deserves a chance just as much as anyone. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> Farewell, Sir Beverly. Oh, hey! He wasn't a real envoy and it was definitely wasn't a real horse. Masterful deduction there, guardsman. Thank you. Okay, so it is just about solving the, their true nature. Hey, kid, are you Lil? Maybe. Okay, good. Got a mysterious letter here for you. Oh, from the... Who's it from? Cult. What are they called in papers, please? I'm not authorized to know. That is mysterious. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Oh, Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Yeah, what happened to Randy? Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I gotta get back to work. Oh. Justice for Randy. Bring Randy back. I want my Randy back. I'm bringing Randy back. Wait Hold on, I what gotta you admit you. I really gotta catch up to my partner. Nope. I gotta do my job. Mm. No, you can come. What happens if you don't? <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. See you around, kid. 
Peace. That was pretty good, though. I feel like I've... Oh. I, I feel like this is supposed to be voiced. Little girl, little girl stands at a gate. Making choices, I can't wait. If you've got a taste of madness and wish to circumcise sadness, come and meet me after dark. Together we can make our stamp on the world. Nothing weird or creepy about that. It's a tough rhyme at the end there. Where's that music coming? Oh! What is happening? Here she comes! The best one. This is when I decided that I must stream this game. I've traveled from afar. A simple girl who wished upon a star. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old life I sing or a bar. And you are? It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far, I'm not optimistic. Ah, oh, but it's Belle. Do you have any idea or anything? I mean, yeah, there, she might just be a butcher. I assure you that my heart is true. Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny awaits. It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. Lil, don't complain. Bum, bum. <sighs> I'm gonna click you because I just really want you to he to hear you sing more, obviously. But should we like spray her? Let's just talk to her first. I'm just so so thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl. The people, the culture, the food, the hundreds of dark alleyways that could just swallow a person up. <laughs> It's so good! The voice acting is fantastic! She sounds exactly like a classic Disney character. Like Belle or something. It's so well done. A kindred soul I found in my friend Lil. Best friends will be forever and yet still. I have a hunger driving me to people everywhere will see. My dark destiny I will fulfill. Well, that took a dark turn. Okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. Yes. Can you just tell me and not sing it? No. Nope. <laughs> ah. I guess that it's all so true. Why I ventured here to you is that... And larceny for smuggling drugs and piracy for setting many fires and causing grief. So much grief. Oh my god! Hey, remember the it's arsonist? Me. It doesn't make any of that remotely okay. Remember the arsonist that had just recently escaped from prison? I think she's back. Oh, I want a sprayer, though. I lie awake at night worried that my parents are right. I should have become a lawyer or a doctor, and I'll never make it in theater. Also, I've got a rap sheet as long as my arm, and I'm wanted in seven counties. So, there's that. Why, that was so strange! I seem to have blacked out for a moment. No matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think I should let you in. I don't think it would turn out too great for the rest of the city. I see now that you aren't my friend. My time here is about to end. You haven't seen the Y 
You're the worst. Oh, that's so good. Oh, despite the songbird's sweet serenade, you correctly identified a homicidal maniac and turned her away. With the right tool, there may have been more evidence to find. Okay. Bum, bum. Very good. Yeah, I get it. I hope she comes back. She's the best. Oh. Prison. Pris pris prisoners coming. Ideal for prisoners who only have one arm. <laughs> I guess. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon. Very true. Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. Soup? Is this the right place? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. Hey, guys. Oh, you dared. Hello. <laughs> you did. Welcome to my layer of chaos. Uh, thank you. It looks like a bedroom. Does it? It is his damn bedroom. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yeah. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. Oh. Okay, Jane Lynch. What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. I see. Then you're free to go. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna show pref... I'm not gonna give preferential treatment to your buddies. What is this, Epstein's Island? Come on now. Uh, who are you? I mean, I get it. Duh. You want me to do favors for you. Use my position at the gate to let in the people that you want in. Deny who you don't. Am I on the right track? Hmm. You're at the station. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. True. Damn it. You've got us there. <laughs> how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? No. Do I even have a choice? Yes, you choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? What do you think? His right hand. Pick his right hand, you can't go wrong when you pick right. It's just technically correct. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. Why you think? Um, we're looking for the ball, right? There's three balls here. doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. That doesn't even make any it's sense. How can it be under your, your foot when your foot is facing down? And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? It's the you foot. You lost fair and square. Your hands aren't your feet, the feet of your arms, though. You cannot call your hands the feet of your arms. Right? That's just... That should just be illegal, kind of. But... Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite yeah, monkey, of finding monkey ways much? to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. Okay. But... 
That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. It's called being an adult. But I'm 12. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Oh, poo. Goodbye! <laughs> G goodbye. Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. She wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. I should have brought another drink. They say nothing, as if they're no longer there, except they are. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just leave. B bye. Not awkward? Not awkward. Totally not awkward. So, we have a job. Things are really going our way today, eh? Tavern. Let's go back. Hey, solid income at 12? It's not too bad. Hey, Dad. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make that two, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. Yeah, but cold, though. Can it at least be cold? Yeah, we're being blackmailed by the <laughs> Mafia at 12 years old. Pretty much. Not so much the Mafia, though. It's more like Wall Street. Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. Dad... You're weird. Am I the- Oh yeah, hat man! This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Mm. My journey... It continues. <laughs> the hat... She does nothing. Hey! We have extra of the daily special today. Eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? Ew. No, we're not gonna take it. Eggs with oil and lemon? Ew. Is that a dish? Hey, dude. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running the desk. Oh, I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? Like you talked about, David Mitchell. If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Thank you. No, I let them in, though. No, I totally let them in. Totally. What? Why? I thought we had a deal. Because it's my job. No, you thought you could bribe a guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl, which is a very serious offense. Charge your money for it. Shake him down! <sighs> no, I'll give you a warning. You get a warning first. If you do it again, though, I'm shaking you down. Please forgive me, incorruptible and honest steward of the I kingdom. will, I will. I beg you, forgive. <laughs> forgive. Everybody gets one. All right, stop groveling. Now don't let me catch you around here again, you hear? I hear. I hear. You are truly worthy and filled with honesty from the core. You have an air of trust within us that permeates. Yeah, all right, Thank shut up. Thank you. Goodbye. Get out of here, you butt. Yeah, I hope he... I hope he just continues to show up throughout the game with new hats. Crazier and crazier hats. If I find a hat... Lil, you came! I did. What's up? What's up, Stan? Welcome to Garby Bunches and Borium of Wonder. You're my very first customer. Why would I rain on his parade? I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. <laughs> and when I looked around, there wasn't. Oh, oh, oh. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. Sweet. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. I kind of want... Good kind. 
and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind, as well as power-ups for all of your tools. I kind of want this ocarina, to be honest. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have- Okay, okay, okay. Right, so I could sell the gold that I accidentally confiscated. I could sell the severed bag and a head. Wait, severed head and a bag from Praetor of Marvach. I could sell the pictures of the famous people. I don't think I should sell anything though. I could buy two whole crystals. Or I could upgrade the metal detector. No, 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 the x-ray. Ooh. Um. I think it's better to just go crystals now. Yeah. I could. Do we go corrupt? How corrupt do we want to be? Do we sell evidence? It would get us a whole ass upgrade. A whole ass upgrade. Screw it. Boom. Peace out. Le freak. Se chic. That cannot be safe. Lil could fall into the sewers if she could walk to that part of the screen. The smells coming out of this dumpster. Indescribable. Oh. Oh. Such a nice, chill place, this. Go sprawl brawlers. Let's go to bed, shall we? Yeah. Wait. Are we done? I think I've done everything I need to. Okay. Quiet, you. Sorry. <gasps> Good. So far, so so that's, that's the premise of the game. You work the guard shift. You can reverse time. Oh, right. We have like a... Is it this one? No. This one. Seamus McGoblin did a commendable job painting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he's quite skilled. He never let a drop hit the floor, and he did all the edges without using tape. Really high quality work. He, I, it brought a much needed breath of life into the room where some people wait for execution. Seamus went home with his hard-earned paycheck in one hand and a bouquet of flowers for his wife in the other. He put his six goblin children to bed, swept his wife off her feet, and took her to their room. Their seventh child, Becky McGoblin, is due sometime in spring. The Petrardian envoy presented himself at court, which began okay until, out of sheer politeness, Princess Desdemona acknowledged his bugle. He proceeded to shoot his own horn, which rapidly diminished the favor he had just carried, and all in attendance left with a bad taste in their mouths and a ringing in their ears. That night, lying in his bed in the chamber provided for visiting dignitaries, he felt vexed that the lonely guardsman had refused his generous offer of a bribe. The nerve of some people. Signor Capello Fantastico entered the sprawl and began his quest for the perfect hat. He ventured to every store that sold hat gear in the sprawl. Henry's hats, Linda's lids, Homer's haberdashery, the Chapo Shack. Mind your millinery, hats, 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 all caps, and even Yiddle's Yarmul, Yarmul, Yurt. But none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. But rest assured, Signor, Signor Capello Fantastico will not relent until the top of his head is restored into its former glory. After relaying Traitor Cargan's message to the princess, the Marvar envoy walked past the National Ballet of the Sprawl's Repertory Company, Repertory Company, rehearsing in the park. Seeing that the ballerinas of the Sprawl were doing things completely wrong, the Marvar envoy decided to join them and teach them a thing or two. Now the Sprawl's ballerinas are experts in first position and first degree murder. Since the envoy was distracted, the Praetor never got to word if the princes received their message. But don't worry, they'll show up anyway. Denied entry, the fake Sir Beverly took off his fake armor and got back to his 
got back on his fake horse and went home to his real hut where he lived with his real mother and wallowed in his very real depression. Chloe was picked up by a patrol outside of the city limits after having set fire to a hen house with her blowtorch, which spread to a number of surrounding houses, costing the treasury and reducing the city's food supply. Well, that's nice. I did that. I wonder what would have happened if I had it's let news her in. in the morning with me, your news anchor, Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. No Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. Sprankles! A representative from the Small Rodent and Budget Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. <laughs> Breaking news. The Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. Breaking news, that was my last piece of breaking news. Keep tuning in for all your Sprawl news updates. We now return to our regularly scheduled Radio Silence. Radio Silence? Why would you schedule that on a radio station? Oh look, another note! Rip Sprangles, though. We didn't even get to see their little carriage. They were on their way, and they died in transit. Oh. Lil, I'm off running an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. Really shouldn't have competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra fiber just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. Okay, I can do that. So now the question is... Okay, wait. Uh, the prince is coming and the... Oh yeah, so the prince and the prince, these two are coming. Fancy man and lady. Today's a goblin ball, semi cup between Sprawl Brawls and Kaladar Lightning. The bastards? <laughs> Kaladar Lightning. There's been a BS report regarding the number of unusual transactions regarding... City officials have been to participate in grey market sports betting. Am I a city official? I am. Oh no, I'm not allowed to bet though. Uh oh. The guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's a little Game Boy. I wish I could interact with it. Okay, so I like the x ray. I'm gonna fill you up. I like the spray. And I like the whip. Uh, I do like the coding ring as well. You can get a faker, and then you can get a reeler. Yeah. That's a good loadout. Go! Go, go, go! X-Ray is going to be good for smugglers, right? So, makes sense. Well, hey! <laughs> yes, it is I, little one. Heir to the throne of Petrarch, here before you in the flesh. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. Genuflect? For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> it's Gilderoy Lockhart. Well, let's see. We have a photo. Yes, that's him. Should we call someone? Wait, did, did she say to call? Expect them, don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Okay. I'll I'll just let you in then. I know you're coming, I know who you are. Go for it, bud. Farewell. Maybe I should have x-rayed him just in case. And with that, it is off to face the princess and destiny. 
Before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. No! Hmm. Is it that you don't have the money, or that you don't want to lend it to me? Both. I don't want to. Oh, Smart-ass ticket taker. When I'm king, I'll remember this. Oh, well, shut up. You won't be king. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Should I rewind? Now nah, we'll see. We'll see how we do. Hello, little fella. Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. Okay. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Okay. Sounds good. Are you a smuggler? Are you smuggling? Let me just x-ray you real quick. That toolkit was handed down to me by my great aunt Gildy. Okay. One of the finest restorers of beauty this world has ever known. But a kit like this in the right hands, and there's nothing you can't do. But what's in it though? No, I don't want to take it. I just want to know what's in it. No, you can have it. I think you'd know what to do with these better than I would. I appreciate it. Especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. I do like my tools. Tool enthusiast? You got your own awesome toolkit there, and I bet you love using it as much as I do mine. Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. As a matter of fact, the jukebox at the Twisted Sisters Tavern has been on the Fritz for ages now. Oddly enough, fixing Fritzy jukeboxes is my specialty. I'll go there straight away and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. I don't understand what, what any of saying? that means. <laughs> yeah, sounds fantastic. On you go, sir. Go fix our Hey Nani Nani. Beep, 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 beep. You may pass. Oh, the Zelda music is back. I thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. Yeah, you look good. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? The Wicked w Witch or whatever. No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. That's what I said. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Wait, Willie. Okay, bye. Hey, full score. You tool enthusiasts need to stick together. Sweet. Sprinkles! <laughs> oh, rip. Sprinkles. Oh, boo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh, hoo 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 Oh, sprinkles. Weep, weep, weep. I believe you. You act very natural. Go on in. Oh, sprinkles. Should we whip him? Should we spray him? We should probably scan him. Because we are dealing with smugglers, but I only have one scan left and there's three more people coming. Oh, what's up? We are returning from the funeral services for sprinkles. Sprinkles. Oh, no. The service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the, um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the Sprawl. Hear that part of the song sounds so much like the fairy fountain? <laughs> Goes on in the background in the song during that ending. Anyway. Okay, I mean, I... Sprinkles loved visiting her friends and uh, seeing you, Virginia's. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, oh, you tease them? No, I trust I'm you. I'm so sorry for your loss. We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. Okay. What exactly is a duchy? It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by Her Grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Oh. 
present. And it is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Okay. Oh, Caladar! What a dump! <laughs> okay. What a dump! Today's Goblin Ball. Expect the arrival of Crown Prince. Okay, yeah. There has been a BS report. Oh, yeah. Smugglers. I mean, we, we do know that Sprankles is dead. Let's just scan him. Pretty boop, pretty boop, boop. See, is that a bag of cat or is that like a bag of drug? What's this then? Oh, that's a cat. That's dust. Of course it is. There's a corpse in there after all. What? No, pixie dust. It's an illegal narcotic used by layabouts and no goodniks. What on earth is it doing inside Sprankles? Ew, it was inside, not the coffin, it was inside the cat. I confess, I've been holding this inside for too long. Oh, it's a little Timmy. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding who? a ball in his foot. Who does that? I know someone who does that. I plead guilty, Your Honor, on the grounds of I did it. <laughs> Please, sir, I did it. I'm not Some a more. judge, you know. Hello, Leslie oh. Ann. Welcome. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. Pa papers, please. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Character sheets, please. That could be the name. If if they could co collaborate with... Oh, I didn't even get to pull that one. If they collaborate... Hey, developers, if you collaborate with Critical Role, make it call that. All right. Character I'm sheets. Carrying your cat. Character sheets, comma, thanks. We shall. Enjoy. Sprinkles will be so happy at St. Euphigenia's. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. Sprinkles, thanks you. <laughs> Sprinkles. Chill out, lady. And that's how you x-ray your way to success. Yeah, baby. Sprinkles. You did a sting. You foiled a drug smuggler bringing narcotics-grade pixie dust into the sprawl inside a casket of a dead cat. What a weird day. Well, I could still have gotten more, though. Hmm. Hello. Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago, and the game is about to start. We all good? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. Right. I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game. Right. Okay. Well, we know that the Kaladar Lightning is playing against the P P P P P Proud Paddy Whackers. What was their names? Sprawl Brawlers. The Kaladar Lightning's playing, so she's with the Kaladar. Should we refuse her and then bet on... If we admit her, then the rival theme... Theme? Team? If we admit her, the rival team will win. If we refuse her, then home team will win. But I feel like they should win on their own merits. Couldn't we just let her in and bet on her? Isn't that nicer? Instead of refusing her? I'm gonna let you in, dude. I wanna let you in. Because you're all in order. I'm not even gonna question it. Nah, I should question it. <laughs> Let's just truth bomb her. This game is gonna be a tough one today. There's a lot of people betting on your sprawl brawlers to win. Even my own dad is betting against my team. What? But I'm not gonna let him have the satisfaction of winning his bet. This win is for all the times you've annoyed or minorly inconvenienced me, Dad. Yeah, Dad, you bet against your own kid? You go on ahead, you win that game. You show Dad. Yeah, what alignment are we following? Uh, I don't know. My own? Whatever alignment Next, I feel no, is... Wipe the floor with those lousy sprawl brawlers. Yeah, buddy. Whatever I feel 
is right in my heart. You hear the crowd cheer on my name? You'll know it's for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I probably would have figured, but it's good to know. Ding dong. Oh, you didn't even have a fourth. Okay. You admitted the star player of the Kaladar Lightning. With her, they're nearly unstoppable. Very good. Chaotic good, I guess. Greetings! I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. She would have come by Are the you really to though? My arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. You're doing a great job at hiding it. I mean, should we whip you a bit? Just for fun? Top of the morning. Ah, ouch! <clears throat> I do not fear the dainty crack of a whip. If I was afraid of whips, I'd have never made it in the tango. You mean ballet, right? Of course! That is don't a you think I remember what form of dance almost killed me? Okay, listen, lady. How do I how do I get her to crack? How do I get her to admit the truth? Should I Let's try it. Hey! I mean, yeah, duh. Yes, Whoa. those are my weapons that any resident of Marvog carries on them at all times. <laughs> Butter knives? Why do they seem so small? I thought the Marvog carried big, ornate weapons of gore and luster. Well, I'm the Praetor. I have people who carry those for me. I carry these. They have sentimental value. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna take them from you because you're trying to enter the city with uh, undeclared weaponry. Not cool, bud. Oh yeah, I wonder. Oh, okay, fine. Just take them. I have many more in my palace at home. <laughs> okay. I wonder, can I show her the, the picture? Like, the, is that how this works? Price six dollars. Okay. I can't. I, it's weird. You'd think that I could, right? I'd be like, actually, this is what she looks like, but I, th I guess the only thing I can do with these is to sell them? But yeah, it, it feels like you should be able to show her that and be like, um, actually, this is though her though? Should we call someone? No, let's just turn her away. Farewell. But I am the Prattler! Yeah, I know. Oi, oi! What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once, is that clear? Yeah, but they're not, though. <laughs> Shut up. You said if they're the real. You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. Okay. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Kaplort and goodbye. Kaplort? Kaplort to you too. I rule the day, the dust empire. You saw through the old fake Praetor routine from a mile away. Who does she think you are? Someone who can't see the old fake Praetor routine? Psh, amateur. I'm one who can always see through the old Praetor, fake Praetor routine. There you go. Little warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Okay. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. That's... This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla! That's the one. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. And I have your picture. That's enough for me. Go on, you rascal. Go mac on the princess or something. 
snog it up. Thus I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. Okay. It's either you or it's that other guy, the fake one. I feel like both of you have, an, have a you, shot here. little warrior, yes? will have a footnote in history for this encounter. Sweet. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! Kapla. Ding dong. After the imposter, it was very clear that the visiting dignitary was on the... Yeah, okay. Sir Beverly is still a fan favorite, I feel like. And by fan, I mean me. Oh! 20 gold. Okay. Sweet. Do, 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 do. Boom, ba, da, boop, boop. Okay, I haven't... It's, it's a bit of a shame that I haven't used my time travel powers. I feel like I'm letting her down. You know, I haven't really... Oh, yeah. Goblin Ball. I haven't really been testing it out. I haven't had a reason to. Team Beverly all the way. Ah, oh, Team Jacob? No. Team Edward? No. Team Beverly? Duh. What's up, lady? Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. Okay. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? What if it's we want to play moves. something else? The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title. And you don't get pizzazz without taking Paul, so Paul Zazz, as I call it. Care to give your opinion? Yeah. Actually, I've really got to be... Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? How about boring? Exciting? I don't know. That's not one word. Boring? The exciting. Perfect. We gotta and draw the, stadium, the crowds in. You would say it's uh... the stadium, the exciting coliseum, the exciting Excellent. coliseum. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for the ex the exciting coliseum with washrooms. Okay, that is super. <laughs> your input will be tallied with the others. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Come again. Good evening, sir. Hat man. Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative foam fingers. You there. What can I get for you today? Hello, Obi. Welcome. Welcome to the sprawl. Did you bring your betting, betting bucks today? Are you ready to bet on Did some you say balls? gambling? We're going to bet on balls. I sure did. You interested? Yes, I'm one trailed. one gambling, please. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You want to bet on who's going to win the big game? You make a good point. I can't be any worse at this than my dad. So sure, why not? Look at me. You never look at me Here during. Here's a play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Kaladar Lightning. They're not the best team in the game, but they got a real ring of playing for them. Saruna Goodfoot. Boy, when she gets going, you can't stop her. You sure you want to bet on them? Uh, yeah. Duh, yeah. How much you looking to gamble? I'm gonna gamble... I have $55. I'm gonna gamble 30 Yes. I believe right, in her. Kid. Your bet is in. She's Good luck. She's playing to prove to her dad that she can do it. I think she's gonna win it. Let's watch some goblin ball. After one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with a rare capture of the golden mongoose, this is still anybody's game. But look, Kalida, star player Saruna Goodfoot has taken possession of the wagon wheel and she hurls it. And it's passed through the flaming gates. That's the game, folks. Too bad, Sprawl Brawlers, but that is certainly one for the record books for Saruna Goodfoot and the Kalida Lightning. But what about the Golden Mongoose? Is it like Quidditch, well, kid? Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. You catch the Golden mongoose and you get the wagon wheel through the 
85 dollars and i've got butter knives i could sell dude we're getting loaded what's up hat man? it is not as fantastic as my previous hat mm. my journey it continues it continues i love that way of saying it my journey it continues it's like the the goggles they do nothing Let's go to the store. Garby's shop. We'll go to the shop and then we'll have a pee break. We'll go to bed and then have a pee break. Hello, fella. I like how his advertising is. Well, if it isn't my gambling, favorite pipe illegal size, gambling. Little guardsman Lil. You just missed the guards from down at the east gate. They almost cleaned me out. But I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Sweet. Congratulations. Gee, thanks. Take a look. Okay. Um, so I guess I could sell these pictures. I don't know if I need them at all, ever. It seems like you can only sell these things. And I guess this head is going to start stinking up the place. I'll sell the head and the knives. I'll sell it all. Okay. Let me upgrade my spray and then buy one of those. Oh, third rate. They work 35% of the time. Every time. Okay. Nah, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, I was gonna save the head in the bag for sentimental value, but I feel like after a while, it kind of outstays its welcome. Oh, fix it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about you. Can you fix it? If it isn't my little gate guard friend of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. I yeah, know. It's been broken for ages. Fix Looks it. like the cables have been chewed right through. Fix it, fix it, fix Must it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Yuck. Rats? Uh... Natural erosion, I mean. I mean, <laughs> natural erosion. Natural erosion, my left foot. Sorry. Anyway, I can fix that for you. Do it. That would be wonderful. Whoa, the smile. The smile cuts my face in half. For a price. Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do it. All right, it's a deal. Now I'm back down to fourteen. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. It never goes out of style. All my Not like I, those bloody mages. I let you. Oh man! <laughs> With all my money for the day. Listen, lady. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, he only said fix it. He did never said he'd charge. There Fine. you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. We we have had music this whole Don't time though. It. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. We have had now this like somber better. piano music this whole time. Oh ho. Oh, I like this one. It's like a trap. Trap remix. I did it. I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. Good. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. Just one sock. Gobble it. What am I supposed to do with one sock? sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Goblin is free. Thanks again for getting the jukebox working. You got it, Boobathena. Good night. I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to... Yeah. Stranger has given Tuppy a sock.
Dobby is free. Upon entering the sprawl, Prince Phidias presented himself at court to the princes, but because you didn't lend him a fiver, he was not able to double it in a game of beer pong at the Basilisk Club, which he could have then tripled participating in the Leaky Downsprouts Arm Wrestling Tournament. Maybe it's for the best. The Dwarven Tinkerer left his interaction with Lil, the Guardsman, with a spring in his step. The connection you made in a time of increasing intolerance towards non-humans made him think that perhaps rumors of bigotry in the sprawl has been greatly exaggerated. Unfortunately, just before heading up to the bed at his room at the inn, he took in the night air and chanced upon a group of young men leaving the social club for Sons of Nobles Clubhouse. They were able to overpower him, stuff him in a garbage can. He was found the next morning without his recently discovered faith in humanity. No. <laughs> yeah, I love these follow-ups. The Duchess of Scarborough, her valet, and the entourage... Valet. Made it to St. Euphigenius just in time for the solemn event of Sprankles' funeral. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry crotch when it came to the cats in attendance who commemorated the event by cleaning themselves through the Duchess's moving eulogy. Nice. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Dungeon! Unfortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and 2 a.m. with the help of his mysterious contact on the inside, whose office happened to be just down the hall. Everyone is corrupt. Invigorated by her win, thanks to their captain and her lucky second-hand sweatband, second sweatband, the jubilant Kaladar Lightning player set fire to a cart full of hay. The fire spread to the neighboring warehouse, which is full of coloring books, bound for St. Euphigenia's home for orphans and other unwanted ragamuffins. Oh. The fake crater that you wisely turned away took their shtick on the road and was eventually picked up by the Marva authorities for impersonating their beloved Praetor. She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet, lovingly called the Nutcracker. Because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She just, she had just the best time. She met a good dog who she petted. She kicked the football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the West Phalian Green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. All in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoons in recent memory for her and she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court where she dazzled those in attendance. Nice. Yeah, patience is a virtue. For all your hard-hitting, high-octane, extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night? Oh, the old ladies! Bombers and the lightning. Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news, they finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... The Exciting Coliseum, it has washrooms. <laughs> I like it. it doesn't even function as a it. sentence. We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555-21... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. I like the old lady. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. Gasp. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. <laughs> He's just sitting there, waiting, quietly. What if you, like, hear him cough randomly? Oh, do you think she... Oh, okay, wait. So the princess has gone missing, and we turned away? Sir... What was his face? The little guy? 
Do you think she eloped with Sir Fake Horse? And they were actually made for each other? Or she's, yeah, she's pretending to be a commoner. She's a Dune and Jasmine. Ah, that works too. Maybe we'll deny her entry. Let's have a pee break first though. Before we get out of bed, we'll have a pee. So I will do this and I will see you in a little bit. Get some snacks, perhaps a carbonated soda. I hope they have ices. I've chosen the large tub. My nipples look like milk duds. I've got some yellow liquid for your popcorn, and it's non dairy.
Yeah, it's just, it's bird fish are in between. That's the clue. That's always what we did when I was a kid. Mom always hid Easter eggs or, or even still, usually still to this day, just for fun. We have uh, this. Mom would always hide one of these Easter eggs. Like it's, it, you fill it with like random candy, like a Kinder egg or or pick and mix, or some little, like a little Mars bar. Just sort of random Easter candy. And then she would hide them somewhere, somewhere in the house. And the clue was bird or fish or in between for high up, low down, or somewhere like waist height. So the clue is the, the, when the eggs are hidden, it's bird or fish or in between is your clue to what level of, of height you're supposed to be looking for. And then you go search for your Easter eggs. Like these. That's how we would do Easter egg hunts here. And then, and then, and then with that clue, mom would then say when it was getting hot or cold, if you're getting closer or further away from your, from your egg. Yeah, it's 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 hot and cold after that, but that's the clue for like where your egg is, since there would be one for me and one for my brother. But that was a good that was a good way of doing an Easter egg candy hunt, I thought. It's like the it's like the fishing pond I mentioned for kids' birthday parties. Anyway. We're back. Did I miss what? Did I miss anything? Did anything super cool happen while while I was gone and while I was eating a banana? I ate a banana. Whoa! Someone's ah. in a rush. Sorry. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, sir. Can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my. Wait a minute, Dad. What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Is the game too loud? It seems it seems just on the edge. <coughs> Should I turn it down ever so slightly, maybe? It seems like it's just about touching the red, which I kind of don't like it when the games do. I'll just bring it back down, just slightly, slightly, just slightly. Then what are you doing here? Better. I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. It's stupid dad. It's dad's voice. It's always dad's voice that peeks it. Okay. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? Also, hello, Rio. Welcome to the sprawl. Joke about hair loss. Um, yeah. I'm not the one losing my hair. Yeah, who'd have thought not working at the gate would be the thing to stress me out more? Dad, 
if you didn't end up working at the gate because your dad did, and his dad did, and his dad did, what would you have wanted to be? You know, nobody's ever asked me that before. Well, nobody since your mother. Aww. What did you tell her you wanted to be? A father. Aww. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. No. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again... Wait. Mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. Pro-non-human literature. Well, that sounds good. Okay, good. Go we for are it. so alike in so many ways. So long. Take Stay down... If I get off in time. Well, he's going to take down pro-non-human stuff. So he's going to basically remove racist stuff. See you, Dad. That's okay. That's a good job. Oh, Oh, he's a good dad. He's not so good at being a, an only dad. Only dads. But he's a good dad. He just My needs a mom Sean? also. Oh, sorry. What's up? Oh, God. Is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Oh, no. Don't get randied. Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Phew. Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's oh, yeah. paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. You can get back in your chair now. Hello, Another Fluffy. lever means more work Welcome. for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, Thanks. no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? No. Very good. You've received your briefing. Now do your duty. Hmm? Wait, he's... Pro non... No, you're right. He's taken down. Wait, no. Pro non human. Pro non human. Non human is racist. So, pro non human means pro racist. And he's taken down the pro racist? So, that's good. I, it's confusing. <laughs> okay, what are the rules for the day? Do the sudden unexplained, uh, the, okay, so the jail thing, we can detain people now, basically. The city's morale is low. Entertainment people should be bumped to the front. We are instituting a severe cutback of non-human entrance. No goblins allowed. Capture goblins. I mean, we'll see about that. If they're nice goblins, then... Be on the lookout for hero, would be heroes, vigilantes, to offer their res assistance. Uh, the council have their own thing going. Okay, princess thing. The, this princess thing. People are going nuts. Have you heard about that crazy no goblins policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At the very least, it'll bug councilwoman Ash. <laughs> Okay, we can't have a conversation with each other within the writ. Ta, ta. Yeah, I'm gonna load up my trusty X-ray and my trusty spray. I love them. Put one in the whip, uh, and one in the ring, I guess. Well, maybe we'll do. That. Eh, sure. Spread them out a bit. I need to make more money, or I need to sell more stuff so I can buy more of those pink. Hello there, my name is Whatface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. Best character! Text to speech man! What's up, Buttface? I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. 
His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best hand. <laughs> oh, he's a little, he's a little uh, farming game sim guy. Sorry, did you say your name was Budface? Yes, yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a characters. <laughs> I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? True. Only the player chooses the name. Buttface. Um, say Buttface. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. Oh, Buttface. No, I trust Budface. I'm sure you can turn things around. All it takes is a little hard work. Maybe a little too much hard work. I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. It's good rice. Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. Oh, it looks nice. Looks like rice. Low quality rice. Oh. Um, whip him, metal detect him. He is a goblin, so we're technically not allowed to let him in, but... Aside from farming, I often fill my time talking and giving gifts to the townsfolk and other strangers I meet. Like I did with you on the bag of rice. He is a Stardew Valley. He's doing farming, he's talking, talking to townsfolk, he was inheriting a farm from his dying uncle. He gives gifts. This helps me gain favor and friendships with eventual goal of falling in love and getting married. I have not been successful at it yet. Oh. I do not think anyone likes the gifts I have given them. I don't think you're gonna find a bride by giving out lame bags of rice. Would you prefer a pine cone? No. Yes. Oh. Poor butt face. I mean, we gotta let Buttface in. Should we do something with Buttface? Should we decode Buttface? Can we decode Buttface? Do you have a copy of your great goblin uncle's poorly oh, handled yeah. will on you? Right, right, right. Of course. But good luck reading it. Well, I have a ring, you know. Beep boop boop beep beep boop 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 beep beep boop boop. It says here. And for my very unique great nephew, there may come an hour when you feel smooshed by the slog of the rat race. Well, whatever you do, do not drop everything and take over the family farm. <laughs> Don't get smooshed! Don't be a farmer! That place is a hopeless salt-ridden rock pile that led me to my early grave. I have enclosed the deep so you cannot load it on some other sucker. Good luck, and remember, do not become a farmer. Love, Great Goblin Uncle Jerry. Aw, Uncle Jerry. So I am not actually a bad farmer. It is a land that is lousy. This has validated me in ways I never imagined. Glad I could help. Aw. Butt face. Should we send him on his way then? Put him in prison? Butt face. Oh, what do we do? Do we let him in? I guess. Find new meaning? Maybe, what, should we like turn him away to find new meaning? Let him in? Find new meaning in the city? Yeah, come on in, butt face! We can't let... Oh, we can't turn away someone called Buttface. Go on, Buttface. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today, but I think you're harmless enough. You may pass. We can just say that we can't really tell if it's a goblin because of the pixels. Well, thank you kindly. I will be on my way now. If I happen to stop by this way again, I will be sure to bring you some more crops from my farm. Free of charge. Charge! Wait, you're still gonna be a farmer? Well, no charge of money anyway. It might cost you a day or two. Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. We should probably have turned him away. That sounds horrible. 
It is. So on. Oh. Wait, no, let's rewind. That was bad. No, we can't do that. Yeah, it's the first guy. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, that does, no. <laughs> I mean, if he wasn't the first one on the day, I would have, I would have. Hello there, my name is Luckface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a twin little town just on the other side of the sprawl. Since he's the first one of the day, we can try the other option. Otherwise, I would have just let him pass. But... I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my... Wait, but that means... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. We know I this. would have liked... So I have to... Yeah, we have to decode him again. Let's just do the same thing. Gotta expand... I'm sure you can turn. Maybe a Confiscate the rice. Ta ta. Rice. And then we talk to him again. Aside from farming, this helps. I do. Very good. We I trust him. It... Would you prefer a. No. And then we decode. Do there. you have a copy? So now he'll, now he can like, we can turn him away so that he can start a new life knowing he doesn't have to be a farmer. You know, he can go off to the farm and it he... sell it or something. And for my very unique great nephew, I just want to hear smooth. An hour when you feel smooshed by the slot of the rat race. That quick love, great goblin uncle. So I'm not actually smooshed. a pen farmer. It is a land that is loud. Glad I could help. Fantastic. So. With that said, uh, be on your way, sir. Farewell. Enjoy your not farm. Sorry, I'm under strict rules not to let in goblins today. Access denied. This is an outrage. Where will I sell my low quality crops now? Everyone in Firewall Canyon is sick of them. I do not eat them myself. They do not look the best. And everyone at home literally gets sick from them. Any chance I could bribe you with some kale and celery? I think I'm better off without it. Sorry, Great Goblin Uncle Jerry. Looks like the family farm will have to make way for another condominium. I don't feel that... I don't feel good about that either. Now I want to let him in again. That was too sad. Can we let him in? I didn't think he'd be that sad. No, I don't want that. No, you can come back. No, come in. No, I'm gonna let him in. Hello there. Hey, buttface. I'm coming. Listen, buttface. Sorry. Yes, I would. Well, maybe we'll try like another thingy. We'll decode him for sure, but then maybe we'll also try like the X-ray. Do you have a copy of? Oh. Yeah, make him stay out. His story will end happier. Will it? It's. But he got so sad. Love, great goblin. So I love. <laughs> Your letter says love. <laughs> that was it. That's all it said. Uh, let's. Since this one is like iffy anyway, it, it we'll just chance it. It's thirty-five percent chance. Whoa. Whoa, well, hey. Okay, I'll take it. That is my rake, and watering can, and shovel handle, and sword, and my colander. The tools of the trade. I should probably upgrade them, but who has the money for that? Tell me about it. Oh, I didn't even get the, the option to confiscate. Do you want a sticky bun? Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. 
I am quite or I'm sure you can turn Maybe a little Should we He's just turning. turn him away though? After all He doesn't have anything on him that's worthwhile If we turn him away Do you promise me that he'll he'll have a happy life? I can't put him in prison. Yeah. He'll be happy. But if we admit him, he'll be he'll be happy now. But then everyone in the city will probably get sick. Yeah, I want him to sell the land. Okay, go. On. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sell the land. It's not a farm anyway. It's it's the land is bad. We know this. It's Sorry. just go build your condominium. I, I, Sorry. It's it's for the better now. Rip the band-aid off. I'm sorry. Farewell, butt face. Farewell. <clears throat> Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee. I miss butt face. And I appear. Thank you! Thank you! Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait, there's one! Excuse me, are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. <laughs> Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Then I'm in the right spot! Can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. My glasses! My glasses. Wait, oh, it's actually live. Look, this t this screen up here. When I highlight the guy, it also highlights him up on the screen. It's actually like a live feed. It's not just an image. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, dude? So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. Wait, but I'm not... Actually, I want to see where this is going. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Seven. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? Yeah. Nope. What else do you do? Dang it. Well, that was pretty good. Um, what do we got? We can spray him, we can whip him. I have two x-rays left, and I have... Yeah, let's do an x-ray. Beep boop. Beep 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 boop 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 boop. There's a rabbit in his hat. There's a... Drugs. And his glasses. So that's where Mr. Fluffy Bunny went. Guess I won't be getting the deposit back after all. Wait, why is the bunny still an x-ray, or is it dead? My glasses. There's a pair of glasses in your boot. My boot? My glasses. Oh my you glasses. Thank you, thank you, thank you, little girl. Oh, for my glasses. Tell you what, on your next birthday, I'll perform for free. That's... Don't worry about it. Rip bunny, though. Uh, well, all right. I mean, you have, you, you seem, you seem in order. Jail! No, you can come. If Chloe comes back, though, I think I'll put her in jail. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me! Oh. And now that I have my glasses, I should be able to find my way to the party, no problem! Yeah, you Alakazoo, rascal. Alakazee! My magic career is saved! Well, alright. 
the rhyming didn't go so well, but the magician had a booking to get to, and you could see that the sprawl needs the joy. Oh yeah, I forgot. You were supposed to prioritize entertain nurse. Perfect. Put him in jail. Hello. Hello. Hi. This guy. Hello. We would like to enter. I, I, I would like to enter the sprawl, please. Yeah, okay. And you are... Magnus the Magnificent, renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you the have The Magies? The Magies. Have you heard of this new fancy thing on the internet called Mimis? Show us your... Butt cheeks. <laughs> I mean, it seems trustworthy. You got us. We're goblins you know, through. You know, look. We're meeting up with a couple other gobos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. If you're short and maybe only have the one cloak and you need to be able to see over a tall ledge, makes sense. Gobos. What does that mean? The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? I know, though. Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Fair point. Oh, it was a skull. I thought the earring when we just saw the silhouette was going to be like a, a Super Mario mushroom. It's different. Um, okay, talk. Needless to say, goblins are getting some especially unfair treatment all of a sudden. True. And there's this group called the Goblin Liberation Army that's putting down roots in the city. Don't tell her, we'll get in trouble. It's okay, Gary. Look, kid, if you let us in, I'll give you the address and the password so you can come see for yourself tonight. I wanna. For sure, dude. Rebellion. I had no idea this was happening in the sprawl. Viva la revolution. Blame Canada. It's a rough go for a goblin in these parts. Up against some powerful people, but you know what they say. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Dog. Goblin Twain. Do this sounds like Sam Regal. Hey, Jazz. Um... I mean, I'm gonna let you in, but I'm not allowed to. Let's talk. Don't be like the rest of all those humans. This is a tough one. <laughs> Good. Great. Time spent well. Go on, you rascals. Go on. Get on in there. Go on and rebel. All right, guys. I'll let you come in. Just don't go spreading it around. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. Hey, that's really cool of you. You're a friend to us non-humans. Of course. Hey, if you stack yourself, it'll look like just the one, so then I won't get in trouble. If you want, come to the meeting at GLA headquarters. It'll really open your eyes to what's going on around here. Maybe I will. Sweet. Okay. Oh, what? You ignored the writ. Yeah, but like... But it was like cool and stuff, though. Tag now. Oh, yeah! Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. <laughs> Saw, dude. He's literally... He literally has a weed weed in his hat <laughs> not what even like fortune have ambiguous me today that i do not know but it's a hell of a ride let me tell you where have you journeyed here from you really want to know oh i've been around for a spell always on the move from the mountains north of petrod the great desert in the south of marvog 
along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Calada and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. I've wandered through all of these many, many times, but for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. <laughs> totally, dude. I trust you. You seem like a very easygoing dude. Well, my little dudette, life's been pretty good to me. Not as if someone peed on my rug. Is that a <laughs> dude. almond expression? It is where I come from. You come from the internet? Um, do we need to whip him? Do we need to spray him? Let's spray him a little bit, just for fun. Just because I have it, he could deal with it. There you go, dude. Ooh, that's a particularly potent blend right there. <laughs> Tasty, a little sweet, with just enough bitter finish to keep you coming back for more. More? <laughs> It's like, it's like, uh, isn't that a scene in like one of the police academy movies with that guy, the Zed guy who screams all the time? Doesn't he like pepper spray himself just to feel the buzz? It's like that. Are you going to tell me your deepest, darkest secrets now? <laughs> nah, dude, don't be mute. Secrets way down the soul, that little is sister. Weed. I have no secrets. My life is an open book. Well, can you tell me something interesting anyway? I mean, I did spend an action point on the damn truth spray. You got a point, little sister. Sure thing, kid. Let me tell you some history. After King Oswin died, it didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Three in particular. A young, headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the Guard Corps, and the court jester. Although I don't know if anyone took him seriously or not. I've heard of these peoples before. These three have been battling for control of the sprawl for years now. But what about the princess? She's next in line. True, but at the time she was just a kid. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside just... forces are using her as a pawn. Uh... Oh no. Doing, doing. Doing, flick it. Um, all right. Well, I mean, I'm gonna let you in. Let's talk some more, though. Word on the street is Princess Desdemona has disappeared. Some say kidnapped. Some say run away. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna bet it now. I'm gonna bet that she has been, she's been eloping with, sir. What? What was his name? He has a name that's like not a real name. But, sir, little Beverly. Okay, wait, I need a, a mnemonic. I, Beverly Crusher. Shut up, Wesley. Shut up, Beverly. Okay. I think she ran away. I think she ran away. With Beverly Crusher. Whatever did happen, it has truly bummed me out. I've got more to say if you've got the ears to listen. I do. Why, well, at least the one. Princess Desdemona is the living legacy of the great peace brought by her late father, King Oswin. And already the fires of war are being fanned on all sides. Oh, dear. Totally gnarly. Do you really think war is on the horizon? Oh, yes. But then again, what do I know? Just an old wizard wandering from town to town looking for a little bit of joy to put in my pocket. <laughs> but everyone I've met seems so happy. <laughs> you remind me of a younger version of myself, little sister. Maybe cooler heads will prevail, but history doesn't have many examples of that. Yeah, very, uh, how topical. There's a lot of pressure to fill the void left by the death of King Oswin. Just keep your eyes open is all I'm saying. You got it, buddy. Well... Yeah, everyone has, everyone kind of doesn't really have feet. They just have a toe at the end of a leg. Ew, that's all they have. It's just the shin all the way down and then one toe. <laughs> that's all they have. Go on in, you rascal. <laughs> Ew. 
Oh, they're dull toe legs. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Did you just call me a fart? That you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Blow on out of here, brother. Based on his reaction, he seemed fine with your decision. Yeah. I think he'd be fine with any decision. He's just totally here to check it out, man. Don't even worry Lil, about you've it. you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Okay. What's happening? By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Uh-huh. No. Yes. Good. Any other week the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. Mucky mucks? I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Piece of... awesome? Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. Huh. Suspicious. You did good. Here's your shit. Very good. Oh. But face. I'm sorry. I hope Buttface comes back with news on Hello? their success. Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the Hey, we have a Buttface Step emote. Step forward into the light. You're right. Is that Illuminati? Very good. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Lil, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So You Think You Can Save a Princess! <laughs> oh, it's a weird hair What's Squidward the laughing. What's going on? It's game show time, yeah! That's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. That's, like, this voice acting as well. Just like the singing lady, and just like everyone, really. But it's such a perfect voice for you this character. This. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. It's such a quintessential game show host over-the-topness. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome <laughs> the old war killer! War killer! I love you! Mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands! Nice. It claps. And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager go would be complete it. without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the... So oh, let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Stryker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite! Oh, shut up. <laughs> now, this, Lil, this you're guy looks get a chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. The jester guy looks to me like a cartoonified version of what's his face half 
the nearly nearly headless Nick actor guy from Faulty Towers, his character in Faulty Towers. It looks like a cartoon version of that character. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand Don't prize please. being sent on Thank a perilous you. mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. The soup. He looks like Basil Faulty, cartoonified. Hmm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Okay, so do we right, game the system like here? Our trio of intrepid would-be heroes. What is your origin story? Where do you come from? And who would you like to ask? Yes? Okay. What about you, Neil? I was born on the battlefield with a sword in both hands. Slaughtered 12 enemies that day. My mother was so proud. I was disappointed. If I had really applied myself, I think I could have killed at least two more. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Uh, how about you? Born in shadows, deep in the caves below the mining city of Mosh on the outskirts of Petrard. I grew up in darkness. In fact, the first time I saw daylight was last Thursday. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what a surprise that was. Who knew colors were so colorful? You're weird. Okay. I mean, my fave... And your second question is? My fave is like... Squished, uh, called Cal Drago here. Perfect first date. What would be your perfect first date? Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. What's your ideal first date? And who's that one for? Barbarian. Easy. We engage in feats of strength. Combat without weaponry, using only our bodies, one against the other, and as we begin to sweat... Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> you can ask another adventurer if you like. How about you, then? A day filled with wonders. Taking in a musical comedy, perhaps some light shopping, and of course, a delicious meal. Afterwards, you find a nice little spot in the park, and I will dazzle the senses with a magical display of fireworks created by my elemental magical powers. Are you German? What's a guy gotta do to get picked for a question around here? I got what? some exciting answers. Hey, I asked. Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. Uh oh. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Mel. Neil's gonna pop. Uh oh. Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Ooh well, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Just for fun? Don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be- Blood rage! <laughs> he killed us. He killed everybody. We died. <laughs> we just die? Oops. Blood rage. Okay, 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 you. Neil, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Sun's getting real low. Big guy. Look at this little fella. I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Phew! 
<laughs> you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. <sighs> Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round or are you feeling ready to choose? One more round. What? Freak out. One more round. One more I round. I got one more round in me. Obviously. Do, 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 do. Lil, do, what's your do. final question going to be? It's going to be, what is your favorite, no, pro, plans after rescue. What are your plans after you rescue the princess? And you're asking? Big boy. For a warrior such as myself, there is no after. We live and die in the moment with no thought of what is to come. Retirement plans are for suckers. So dramatic. You can ask another adventurer if you like. What about this guy? Are you kidding me? I make this gig and I'm set for life. Rescuing the sole heir to the whole freaking sprawl? Insta retired, baby. I'll be sipping pina coladas on the crystal shores of Lake Inez before you can say, Would you like a curly straw for that pina colada, sir? Inez? Oh, I love pina coladas. They mentioned it in my introduction. Yeah, no, I saw. Then the first round's on me. I picked his pocket earlier. <laughs> oh, but then you two can elope. That'll be great. Uh-oh, you know what that means. Okay. I have no idea so, what that means. Do we... This is so stupid. Do we play with foresight? You're stupid. Now it's shush. That sound means it's time for the lightning round. <laughs> Will, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Okay. I will. How about this guy? All right, Perry. Are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Oh, too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't real, right? So dumb. <laughs> uh -oh, it's just you dead. Know what that sound means. Oh god, not again. My conscience can't take much more of this. That sound means we are out of time! Alright, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? This guy, duh. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Neil Warkiller the Warrior! This pleases me. I am pleased. Okay. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody! You, you can't pick them. You can just hear their opinions. If you click their names, then they just, like, present their case, kind of. But yeah, past this, I do not know what happens in the story. I've, I've played up until this point, but I've uh, made different choices and explored different and realities. I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? <gasps> Hat Man! He's back. What's up? Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here. <laughs> I know. We met. At the gate? Whoa, I completely forgot. Gotta go easy on the Peace Blossom. Anywho, what did you want to talk about? <laughs> peace Blossom. Uh, I mean, we talked about most of this stuff at the door. What do you think about... What do you know about Councilwoman Ash? 
fancy Back lady. Back when I knew Ash, she was already bitter, jaded, and afraid of anything she didn't understand. Okay. A true protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. Anything else you want to know about? Why not? What do you know about Lieutenant Stryker? Stryker has always lived in a world of black and white. There's good and evil and nothing in between. Are they just all bad then? If you're good in Stryker's eyes, you get nothing. Left to fend for yourself, but free. But if you're bad, the hammer of the law is swift and brutal. Small offenses come attached to massive mandatory minimum punishments. You've heard of three strikes in your house? This? As far as strikers concerned, Mary it's Bill? two strikes. The strike you make and the strike she makes. Aww. Anything else you want to know about? Go for it. What do you know about Malcolm? I have no idea what Malcolm's end goal is, and honestly, I don't think he knows either. Well, he's, his rogue is dead. I know I that much. If he had his way, there'd be no rules, no laws, no little guardsmen at the gate. Just let the whole place run itself. It's like this reality. This dog mentality would work for some, and for others, things could get a whole lot worse. He doesn't care about people. Doesn't care if they're good or bad. Our greatest strength is how we work together. Under Malcolm, we would never reach anything near our collective potential. Anything else you want to know about? Okay. See you later, bud. I like that he's like the most. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why this? <laughs> no! Hey! But wait, what? Is Steam not even on? What happened? Did Steam? Oh, I think Steam crashed. Look. Like all of Steam. Whoa. Weird. It was Buttface. Buttface got Buttface's revenge. Cracking the code from within. Well, have we made a mortal enemy in Buttface? Say it ain't so. True, true antagonists. Buttface. Okay, we're just back here. And then I Hey Gandalf, we're back. I don't know if it matters if we talk to him or not. Like if we know these things. I know. Just in case. What do you know? Just in case having talked about this stuff does any change you, something I, this he don't anything this hat it is not as fantastic as my previous hat my journey it continues it continues hey hey bev <sighs> Ah, <sighs> is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil, no, everything is not okay, Beverly. My oh. dear true love, Princess Desdemona. Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? You phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. What about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess, but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. Oh. 
Poor Bev. Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. <laughs> Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? Well, that's a mean mom. Risk it for the biscuit. What the hell? I say go for it, Beverly. Risk it for the biscuit. What biscuit? It's a metaphorical biscuit. In this case, the biscuit is the princess. And you think I should risk what exactly? Never mind. I regret this entire conversation. <laughs> Beverly, get out of here. If you must be regretful, regret what you didn't do, not what you did. Okay. That's beautiful. Who wrote that? Beverly. The great Mark Goblin Twain. Beverly, I don't think you should risk anything. I think you should keep on being your sweet, stupid self and go back to work. Yeah. Yeah, you might have a point there. I don't have that many more vacation days. Listen, Bev, it's getting late. I'm gonna go. I understand. Farewell, Beverly. Oh, Soldier on, Sir Beverly. Soldier on. Uh, let's listen to... Military? Not bad. You're f you failed, you're dead, get out? Oh, hi, hi. Pathetic, weak coward! You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Yes. I would. I would like to commend you on your choice of adventurer. The princess is as good as rest. This music is very intense for this. Rod, I vehemently disagree. You had the chance to send a cunning rogue, but instead you chose rogue. a dumb warrior. She made the right choice. The Marvog Empire supports her. Thanks. The kingdom of Petrad would grudgingly accept an apology for your actions. Are you talking to me? No. That big dumb warrior is the right person for the job. My concern is the safe return of Princess Desdemona. Not pleasing you. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, don't have to be rude. Oh, why, I never. <laughs> I won't forget this. Oops. What he said. Sorry. Can I apologize again? I don't want to make things any worse than they are already. Whoops. Bye. Maybe maybe we should crash the game again and do do over. Whoops. Sorry, fellas. Alright, what's up? Would you like been at this a while? You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look! Uh, well, actually, no, I have nothing. Peace. <laughs> Fine, I'll, I'll save up. I'll save, I'll save for the next day and I'll have a big stuff. We should go to the meeting though, for sure. We should go to the meeting for the Goblin uh, Rebellion and, and then I think we can go to bed. Unless we can go to uh, the dig site or something again. Report back. No. Lil walks down a dark back alley to find a red door. She knocks, hears movement behind the door, and suddenly a slit opens, and she sees a pair of glowing eyes. Yellow eyes peering out at her. Were you followed? What's the password? Joshua. Get out of here, kid. Go home. No! Wait a minute. Uh, I think I've got it here somewhere. Viva la Gabo Lucion. 
Come on in. Thanks. Do you want some rice? Wait, I couldn't even sell the rice? What's up, guys? Don't even get me started! Who do they think built this city up into the sprawling metropolis they get to enjoy today? Because it sure as hell wasn't humans! Did humans haul the stone that became our roads and buildings? No! Troll labor did that! Did humans dig the intricate system of subterranean tunnels that became the world's greatest sewer system, getting our piss and shit off the streets? No! Our mole brothers and sisters did that! Who's this? The late King Oswin was a man full of empty promises. He vowed to end the persecution and oppression of all goblins, dwarves, kobolds, vampires, you name it. But last time I checked, I'm still treated like a second-class citizen. The day of the royal wedding approaches, and the powers that be are sitting fat, but they are blind. Hear my words, people. That day will be their undoing. That day will be their reckoning. A change is coming on that wedding day. Will you RSVP for the revolution? Go home, everybody, and keep your eyes and ears open for what happens next. I invite my inner circle to join me downstairs. Light refreshments will not be served as Carl forgot it was his week to bring orange slices. Damn it, Carl. I mean, who's Carl? Where's Carl? How do we get revenge on Carl? Damn it, Carl. How's it going, Gobbos? How are we gonna run a rebellion when Carl messes up like this? You came! You owe me five bucks, Gary. It's worth it! Did you hear him? Isn't he amazing? What did you think? It was pretty good. Uh... It's incredible. That head goblin guy is amazing. Oh, be supportive. I'm sorry. I really had no idea how bad it was for you guys. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of equality going on here. You're lucky fight the slide projector this. broke down. The audio visuals make it even more horrifying. <laughs> so, is something really going to happen slide on Princess projector. Desdemona's wedding day? Like an attack? Who knows? The leader and his inner circle keep their cards pretty close to their chest. But whatever it is, it's going to be a real game changer. Well, I'm just glad I'm not invited. Just keep your ears peeled and your eyes to the ground. You'll get your chance to be on the right side of history. You'll see. I hope so. See you around, fellas. Viva la Gabalusion! Gobelusion. Viva la Gobelusion. Viva I wonder what would happen if you take the complete opposite path here and like when they show up at the gate initially you you jail them instead? Like how could all of this have gone? So many paths untaken. A tangled web of corruption and lies and some coupons. Alright. Bye, Gobos. Gobos feels like it's rude to say. Gobbo? Bye, Gobbo. I have to pee in real life. Can we do that in bed? I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes. Oh, upon no no! Upon returning to his sad little farm, Buttface the Goblin checked his calendar for any upcoming social events. What luck! The annual luau was just three weeks away. Not only would this be an opportunity to enter his produce into the luau's gumbo competition, but it would also be a chance for him to find a friend, maybe even love. 
Buttface worked hard for those three weeks, tilling the soil, planting the seeds, using illegal growth enhancing fertilizer, and delicately watering each sprout to ensure a hasty harvest. When the big day came, he was the first in line to add his grotesquely large, mold ridden radish to the gumbo pot. And who should be joining this year's competition but the Baron of Fire Canyon himself? What an honor! As the Baron laid on the ground, stomach being torn apart by the goblin's gumbo, Buttface was the only one to hear his last words. He whispered, The gumbo. It's poisoned. It's the worst pain I've ever felt. I just want to die. Please tell my wife I love her and do not try the gumbo. What luck! The Baroness is newly single. Maybe there's love in the cards for old Buttface after all. <laughs> I think so. I believe in Buttface. <laughs> the Edward the Great eventually arrived at Becky Schneiderman's birthday celebration. He hit the ground running with his tried and tested routine. He opened with pick a card, moved into is that your handkerchief, and ended with a strong, ended strong with the classic how many eggs do you have in your pocket trick. Unfortunately, none of these impressed any of the preteen partygoers, which the Edward could clearly see now that he had his glasses. After his performance, the Edward enjoyed a piece of vanilla cake and awkwardly waited for Mr. Schneiderman to settle his payment. With the check in his pocket, the Edward went straight to his parents' garden shop to boast of his success. Unfortunately, the Edward's parents didn't consider a check for 37 gold, 40 before deducting the price of a piece of vanilla cake, much to be much of a success. They were very disappointed in their son's career choice, which the Edward could clearly see because of his glasses. I'm sorry. Gary and Julian were pumped to see you at the rally. They boasted to all of their friends that they not only convinced the small human to let them in, but they even got her to attend a Goblin Liberation Army rally. After you left, the glass leaner pulled Gary and Julian aside to personally thank them for helping to bridge the gap between groups. This meant a lot to Julian, whose belief in the cause had burned bright and hot. Gary, however, didn't quite, couldn't quite let go of his daydream of a world where he actually was a powerful mage, not just a goblin pretending to be one. Sure, he would still support the efforts of the GLA, but he could do it while making fireworks appear out of his fingerprints, or while conjuring miniature unicorns to delight and entertain his pals. What started as a simple two goblins in a trench coat grift woke something up for Goblin Gary. From this day on, he would begin his quest to become a wizard. And now, all he needed was a robe, a scar, and a depressing orphan backstory. Echo. After stopping in at the Twisted Sisters for a glass of his triple of choice, Echo proceeded to head down to Pinheads, the local bowling club in the sprawl, where his team was playing for league night. Thanks to the calming effects of this particularly potent peace blossom, he was unstoppable, bowling a perfect 300. His team went on to win the league, and a commemorative photo was put up on the wall at the pinheads to celebrate Echo's perfect game. After winning So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Neil Warkiller ran in a berserk state of rage in a direction he hoped the princess was in. After a day and a half of this ceaseless, frenzied running, Neil arrived at the bandit's castle, where they were holding fair Princess Desdemona captive. Whoa, wait, what? They were no match for the enraged warrior and were mercilessly slain, but when Neil's berserker rage subsided, he discovered that Princess Desdemona was not being held at that castle. Oh. And that castle was actually a quaint farmer's market, populated by elderly locals. Oh well, maybe your princess is in another farmer's market. They're all dead. Having lost So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Articulous Flame Hands returned to his tower and his pile of unpaid bills. Not gonna lie, Articulous really needed this gig. The reward for saving a member of the royal family would have settled the lion's share of his debt, not to mention the money he'd save up. Save with all that free soup from Monty's. <laughs> Perry Schautzen, the margarita-loving master thief turned pile of dust, was swept into a dustbin and tossed out the window. 
I feel like the mage guy would have been the wiser choice to send out on a journey. Lil, rise and shine. In a minute. Five more minutes. I have to go pee. Wait here. Hello? <sighs> rise and shine! Okay, fine, Dad. Dad, you rise, you shine. I'll take five more minutes. Five more minutes. It's time to get up. Okay. Shouldn't you be down at the guard shed? And shouldn't I be heading down to cover for you? Oh, I used to have the time machine just sitting on the table. Do you want the good news or the bad news? No. We have to work the night shift tonight. Okay. I'm going back to bed. No, you're getting out of this house and taking some time to yourself today. Oh. Why do we have to work the night shift? Uh, good news or bad news? Apparently you didn't pick the right person's champion for the rescue mission. Whatever that means. And... They're punishing you for it. So you are supposed to pick the mage. And I won't be able to cover for you, because I'm also working the night shift at the East Gate. Okay. Okay. And what's the good news? There isn't any. I guess it was just bad news this time. No! Who's punishing you? The good news is that there's no more bad news. No one. I work the night shift a couple times a week to help us get by. Oh, Dad, I didn't know that. So, I guess you could say the economy is punishing me. That and inflation. If taxes keep going up, I might have to get a third job so we can keep affording things like your little doohickey here. Jeez. It's tougher for Dad than we thought. Wait, don't touch that! Uh-oh. Whoa. What just happened? Do you want the good news or the bad news? <laughs> Both are. I don't know. Do you feel okay? Did your atoms scatter across the universe? I feel fine, sweetie. No need to look all blurry about it. Now you get out of here and enjoy your day off. But don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? Sorry, okay, look okay, all... I'm Who? Going. Wait, Just, wait a minute. Uh, try not to operate any heavy machinery until I get back. No need to look I all blurry? Check in with Dr. B and make sure my dad isn't radioactive. Yes. Bye, Dad. <laughs> no need to look all blurry and double. Ah! Oi! No! Oh, 
God, the rat problem is even worse than I thought. We eat all of our... Oops. Wait. Do I talk to them? Well, I figured you'd say that. <laughs> well, that's what they all say. Jeez. Did you like your new hat? This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. No, that's fair. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll go. Oh, this is spooky. Well, there's no music, no TV, no people, no nothing. I think I can hear my friends out back. I want to go play. Oh. I can? <laughs> Looks so scared. Okay. Friends? I have friends? Hello? Are you my friends? Oh! The world continues. Oh. Isla, Simon, Lamont. How's it going, guys? Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Not around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. I wonder if these are like depths. Chicken pox? <laughs> Worse than that, Simon. I got a job. Oh. Well, you just missed the rock throwing portion of our morning. Sadly, we chucked the last rock in the alley over the fence. Next, well, we were thinking of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got over there. They look like magical toys, basically. Good idea. One of the few perks of my job is getting to play with those toys. Can confirm, they're fun. Okay. Oh, oh. Most of these criminals are part of the notorious Hilltop Gang. Bunch of dorks! <laughs> oh, bunch of dorks. I it's a will. horrifying Sorry, rumor. I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. Oh. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What are you doing up so early? I don't know. It's born. Work in the graveyard shift tonight. So, I'm finally available to see some of my friends who have responsible parents and reasonable bedtimes. People like those small hooligans over there? It's gotta be dev self-portraits, right? Like they doodled themselves? Those aren't small hooligans. They're my friends. And I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. Borrow? I stand by my statement. And we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. But first, I've lost the key to my inventory, and I think one of them might have stolen it. Key to your inventory? Everything Maybe is out. Maybe you could out. talk to them for me. Work your little guardsman magic and see what you could do to get it back. Okay. On it. NBD, bud. NBD. Hey, fellas. So, about that key. Punch him. All right, guys. Time to confess. Detain Which them. one of you took poor Garby's inventory key? Was it me? I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. Hmm. So that's the way it's gonna be, is it? Listen, I need that key to upgrade tools and buy more power crystals. So one of you is gonna tell me who's responsible. I do have a an x-ray machine. Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Yes. Nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you got your story straight. They are hooligans. I don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. So tell me, oh, snap. which one of you took Garby's key? Oh. Between you and me, I saw Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that sits in the middle of his gorgeous face all around that booth. Okay. It was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy, but also... It was Simon. Cool. I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think Isla is a kleptomaniac. 
I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. But also, I could make up my mind now or dig a little deeper. I want to dig a little deeper. I know it wasn't me. I'm in a bit of a two-strike situation with my parents, and I'll be sent to the National Ballet School in Marvog if I get in trouble again. Oh, snap. But I'm telling you, Lamont got here first, and I saw him rooting around Garby's shop. Okay. I said it before. I'll say it again. It was Isla. Okay. Okay, maybe Isla isn't a klepto, but she did go through his bag just before you got here. Maybe she's got a good reason to be going through his stuff. I got here third, so I didn't see anything. So both of them say that she's the one that is stealing, but she's been stealing from him. Presumably she then stole the key that he stole from the guy? So Lamont stole the key from Garby, but Isla, I Isla stole the key from Lamont. So I think she has the key. So, did you figure out who took my key? Yes. I hate to be a narc, but I think it was. I think Lamont took the key. It was probably Lamont. He's the tough-looking kid with the missing tooth. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Hey, you! Mullet boy! Stay right where you are! Mullet boy! Garby isn't smart or strong or fast. By the time he reached Lil's hooligan friends, they had run off, but Lil had been correct. And startled, Lamont dropped the key as he fled. Yeah! Ugh. Got the key back. And those hooligans ran off. It's a win-win. Now my shop is ready to open. For helping me out, I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your tools. Or load up on crystals. Whatever your little heart desires. Ah. Whoa. Damn. Look at him go. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna probably... I feel like I should just load up on crystals. Yes, niches get dollars. This is great. I'll just load up on crystals. Why well, I say load up? I'll get two crystals. <laughs> if anything, I could upgrade the, uh, the, uh, whip. Maybe? I feel like metal detection and truth spray kind of covers most stuff. Uh... The exciting Coliseum, it has washrooms. Oh yeah. The dungeon. Why would I go there? Oh. I have a convenient meeting with my skill digs. Oh. Well, that's just great. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I could go back in time to when she was here. N no. But Dr. B did say I could only use it at the guard shed. Maybe that's why it's on the fritz? I better just get to my ship before this thing explodes. Um, let's see. Should I go... Should we do some betting? Betting is closed. Mrs. Abernathy. Hat man. <laughs> We found a hat. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. Are you here to watch the Goblin Ball game? Maybe. Do you have any top hot top tips? Hiya, Mrs. A. I usually find Goblin Ball too boring to watch, unless, of course, there's a little action on it. If you know what I mean. I most certainly do. I've got this month's pension check riding on a sure thing tip that's gonna pay out big time. Really? You sure seem confident, Mrs. A. Care to share that tip with this underage gambler? Your father wouldn't be pleased with me, but I'll tell you what. Since I really bet the ranch on this next game, I don't have any gold left to buy my snacks. Would you be willing to help a little old lady buy a large hat made of nacho chips with melted cheese sauce on top? 
Mama just can't enjoy the game without one. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Oh, I wanted to. I don't think I should, Mrs. A. Heavily salted food at your age could contribute to what I'm guessing is an already existing heart condition. Oh, pish Why, you posh. presumptuous little... No matter. I'm sure Fredo will spot me for it. I'll be good for it after my bet comes through anyway. At this age, you should be allowed to do whatever you want. You earned it, Mrs. Abernathy. This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it, it continues. continues. My journey, it continues. Mr. Sir? Step right up, one and all, and win some money on the Goblin Ball. Sure. Hello again, Fredo. Who's playing? Again? I've never seen you before in my life. <laughs> okay. But I placed a bet with you on the last game. Doesn't ring a bell. The Kaladar Lightning game against the Brawlers? I won some money. Okay, if you say so. Person I've never seen before. Anyways, you want to make a bet on the game? Uh, yeah. Why not? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Milton Marauders. This team went under a major rebranding and hired a whole new set of eager rookies. They're fast, but lack the muscle mass that some of the more seasoned teams have. Okay. Let's hope the starch in those new uniforms doesn't slow them down too much. You sure you want to bet on them? No. Tell me about... The teams at play, kiddo. Tell me about home team. Ah, the home team. People either love them or they hate them. Me? I'm indifferent. But with the princess missing, the kingdom could really use a win right now. That's true. Nah, if only those bums would get up off their behinds and show a little hustle every now and again. Great team, though. Are you sure you want to bet on them? Ooh. So, we have... <coughs> Here are the teams at <coughs> play, kiddo. We have... Which one do you want to hear about? We have rookies, but fast ones. And then we have veteran home team, but maybe motivated extra by princess, but otherwise lazy. Rookie, fast rookies, lazy home team, motivated by lost princess. I'll support the whole, well, I, I'm not supporting ah, the, home, the team. home team. Nah, if only those bums would get up. I'm not really supporting the home team, but I'm betting on it. How much you're looking to gamble? I don't know. How much you're ha Oh. Ten. All right, kid. You Go home. Goblin ball. Go home, team. Okay, everybody. Channel your energies. What an embarrassing series of unfortunate accidents for the Sprawl Brawlers. Oh no! Jorbala Pepstein failed to barrel roll out of the way of the Marauders' lightning fast offensive line. Then the dynamic duo Edie and Audrey O'Goblin only uh -oh. shaved 12 of the 14.7 seconds off of the time the Brawlers needed to open the Diamond Snorf's cage. Oh no! The Snorf's not comes down out. to the final wagon wheel toss today, folks. And the coach has sent in Sir Warren of Bainbridge, the bad boy of the Brawlers' midfield passive-aggressive line. Heck yeah, Warren. He's muttering something to himself. He spits. He lifts the wheel above his head. He spins. He spins Go, again. Warren! He spins a third time, and it's launched! The Marauder's weather wizard can't touch a throw like that, and it's through the post! The Sprawl Brawlers win! hey yo! Brawlers! Brawlers! Lucky guess, kid. Well, I know, Back right? It's time for all your illegal gambling needs. I will. Just ask for Fredo. I will. That's fun. All right, see you later. I enjoy... I enjoy gambling when there's no consequence. Uh, let's see, do we do to go to the dungeon? Not really. Uh, okay. Wait. All unvisited locations become unavailable. All right, I might as well go here. Just check it out real quick. Do, do. Hello, Toasty. Been lurking, having a bit of an anxious day. 
but a little quirky game and your company has been helping. Aw, that's good to hear though, Toasty. I'm sorry you're having an, an anxious day. I hope it's, it's, it's whatever the anxiety is caused by is, is worth worrying about and turns out great. I hope it's not one of those like random anxieties that just sort of hop, hop, hop into your brain uninvited, you know? When they are just completely unmotivated. Those are the worst. Ugh. Hope you had a nice Easter anyway. It is April Fools. I actually, I forgot that it's April Need Fools. Need something today. else? I guess not. I thought I had more money. <laughs> okay, bye. Eesh. Okay, let's go to work. I mean, I've been to the other place. Yeah, sure. D don't give me options. Game, you frighten me. What's this? A mysterious present? Perhaps a secret admirer? Ooh. Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate. Is that my name? Excellent work picking up picking the obvious choice for the prince's rescue mission. Unfortunately, the warriors seem to have gotten themselves into some hot water with a farmer's union. Not your fault, though. Anyways, please enjoy this one-time bonus. Sorry about the night shift. Oh. Hey, a free metal detector. Sweet. Sweet. I ate so many sweets. Same. I ate a, a fantastic amount of buffet meat hold on a minute shapeshifters sneak attacking shapeshifters susceptible to physical damage chaotic evil small to medium humanoid oh chemical compounds such as the pet patented truth spray has no effect oh And a cheese, eh? Eh? Wait, what do I. Red herrings? They cause confusion. <laughs> Create conflict where none should exist. <laughs> Beware the red herring. Its siren's call had led many adventurers to follow the wrong path or to find enemies where none exist. Use your judgment and don't believe any anything you hear or see. The temptation to believe a red herring is strong, but be vigilant. You will come out on top. Okay. Lycanthropes. Big AF. <laughs> They're big AF. Okay. Mole people. Necromancers. What? Vampires. This took a turn. All right, definitely X-ray. I guess the truth spray isn't super necessary. We can whip some people for sure. We can maybe decode some people for sure. We can maybe metal detect some people for sure. Okay, I guess the spray is pointless. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, nighttime is spooky. Hello. Good evening, child. I have not seen you at the post before. What kind of mythological monster could you be, pray tell? Yeah, you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time. Burning it at both ends, you know. Just gotta keep on trucking through. Blah, blah, blah. Look, he's not on the TV because he's not on the camera because he's a vampire. That's cool. I hear you working the graveyard shift myself. Blah. Yeah. You said it. No, I said yeah. You say blah. Close. Okay, wait. Uh, do uh, wait. So do I? Do I not want to let vampires in? Or <laughs> look at the dice. Vampire. Okay. Change into bat. Blah blah blue. 
As a result of the powerful vampires' rights movement led by goth rock icon Vlad Extreme, vampires have come out of the closet, and many have become productive memories of society. Okay. In centuries past, reservoirs. Okay. Usually evil? Okay. Uh. What did you say your name was, sir? Business or pleasure? <gasps> Heinrich. And last name? Von Pyer. <laughs> Von Pyer? Von Pyer. Von Pyer. Title? Uh, Count. Your name is Count Heinrich Von Pyer? Yes. I mean, I'm gonna have to tease you a little bit. What? Were the less obvious names taken? I have no idea what you mean. I happen to come from a long line of vampires. No, I don't I doubt no it. No doubt in my mind. Hey, hey, ho. Hey, do you want like a, do you want some rice or sticky bun? What's the point of these? Uh, all right. Should we metal metal detect him just in case? How many people do I have to get through? Six. I I don't I don't see anything wrong with him you know let's metal him and what do we have in there <laughs> uh those would be my fillings if you would like a closer inspection all you need do is come closer child <laughs> I die! <laughs> I got eaten by a an obvious vampire invites you to get closer to look at their teeth and you say yes. Really? Yeah! Because I don't want to be prejudiced. Look, why would I not? He was cordial. Good evening, child. Oh, good a evening. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, tell me about yourself. And... <sighs> What? I have no idea what you mean. I have no doubt in my mind. Okay. Anyway. I guess I won't let you bite me then. Uh Whip him? Nah. What, what what's your what, what's your deal? So are you uh Running late? Yes, I am. So if you wouldn't mind inviting me in, there is an urgent matter I must attend to. Did you say invite you in? Yes, it was an arrangement I had with a guard who normally works this location. An arrangement that, if broken, would be a real pain in the neck, so to speak. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't want to get in the way of any pre-existing arrangements. Look into my eyes. I sincerely thank you. Oh, oh he's nice. Yeah, hey, you're nice. You're a nice fella. Should we put him in prison? We can just turn into a bat and fly away anyway. Yeah, you get in here, you ra rascal. I, well, yeah. <laughs> Great. Here's your picture. Would you care to enter the sprawl? Why, thank you for the lovely invitation. I accept. Thank you, little girl. Until the next time you work the night shift. Blah. Seems like a good person to have, like, on my good side, you know? Hopefully that's never. Have a good time in there. Hmm. You let him in? He's clearly a vampire. I don't care what he says he does for a living, he's undead. <laughs> yeah, but he was, you know... Nice. He only killed me when I let him. See now this? Listen, little girl, there isn't much time. You must send me to jail immediately. I pray you don't make me explain any further. We haven't the time. This guy doesn't seem interested in small talk. I'd better mm. get on with the job. But now I'm curious. What? What do you have? What are you? 
beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. <gasps> He's a demon. That's not a guy. I'm no doctor, <laughs> but that doesn't look great. Ah, see, now there's your problem. I can feel it coming from the inside, trying to break free. I cannot contain it much longer. The sun has set. Every second is precious. There is no telling what I may do if left unchecked. I beg of you. This is our last chance to prevent catastrophe. Okay. Arrest me. Arrest me now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's a good doggy. Sit. To jail you go. I have never seen this. What happens? Thank you. Bless you, child. The world is a safer place now. I really hope you get the help you need. Oh. Oh, what? It was no like I I was just expecting like a big cage to come falling down or something or like a trap door. Nothing happens. You observe an obstetrician's manager like an lichen lichenism. Wait, lichenism? Lycanthropy. You made the right decision, but could have it, but could have arrived at it sooner. Well, yeah, but you know, give him a chance. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> no, no, little one. Not a god. Just an incredibly handsome mortal. People make that mistake all the time. It is I, Prince Phineas, heir to the throne of Petrarch. I mean, it is, but... Uh, I know. I know who you are. I was working the gate when you arrived. I let you in. And still you mistake me for a god? <laughs> well, who can blame you? Your hair is crooked. Uh, do you have anything to declare? Please say no and just go about your business. To jail! As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, oh. I was afraid of that. I declare that I am... Go on. Go on. What? You kind of trailed off there? What? You said... I declare that I am... And then... Uh, then what? Okay, and I feel like I'm gonna regret asking, but... What have you been doing tonight? Well, what do you want me to say? Milkmaids? Uh, or what I've been doing with the milkmaids? Well, we've come this far. What have you been doing with the milkmaids? I got thrown out for trying to stretch a single into a double. I just feel sorry for you, man. I mean... Don't pity me, little one. I am a crown prince of the realm. A sad one. I would trust... Aren't you here trying to win the hand of Princess Desdemona? I would trust that the real prince would do this. Well, sure I am, but when the Mage's Guild throws a party in your honor, boy, do they know how to show you a good time. And you can't stop a fox from stealing eggs, am I right? Huh? What? What does that even mean? I'm suspicious of him, because on the one hand, this feels believably like something that Prince would do. But on the other hand, there are such things as shapeshifters. It means everyone always thought the Sprawl was crazy for being aligned with such an uptight group of old boars. They really know how to show a guy a good time. No, I meant the thing about the foxes stealing eggs. Can't stop them, and I'm the fox. Shut up. Barf, 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 barf. <laughs> Good night, Prince Phineas. That's me. Ha. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. Now get out of here, you drunk fool. Oh, all right. What? Oh. Oh, I didn't get the... Hello, Mrs. Good Abernathy. Good evening, my dear. Mrs. Abernathy, you're out awful late. 
Especially with all these comings and goings about the sprawl. I don't think you're Abernath. See. Oh, my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I best Shh. be turning in. Shapeshifter? Shapeshifter, eh? I see. Give her a good old detect. I don't think I can use this right now. Give her a good old whip. I can whip her? Oh my stars, would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I best be turning in. Yeah, that seems pretty off to me. In you go, lady! Skadoosh! You're no Mrs. Abernathy. You're a Mrs. Abernathy. I'm sorry, Mrs. A, but I think this is for your own good? Boy, that felt awful to say. Oh, my stars, would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. Oh. I best be turning in. She's like Bethilda Bagshot in Harry Potter. Or she's just repeating the thing. So Harry call it comes sweet with. little old lady to prison. Man, this just keeps getting worse and worse. Ah! Ah! Well, Ew! <laughs> Gross. I, I hope she, the real one is okay. Something seemed especially monstrous about the old bag tonight. She's the dungeon's master's problem now. Oh, Why did I just get a two? I solved the case. Eh? Oh, strange. Well, well, well. If it isn't the little girl who works the guard shed. I was hoping we'd meet again. I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a rather important meeting to attend. It's, it's Archibald Phineas III or whatever. And what exactly is this meeting you're attending? If you must know, I was summoned by Prietor Cargan personally. It is a highly confidential matter that doesn't concern you. Okay. No, I, I mean, I'm gonna tease you. Late night slumber party? Watching rom-coms and doing magazine quizzes? Hello, Maya. Impudent child. That's me. I'm pretty close, aren't I? Aw, oh, they're just going out for a slumber party. Let's do, uh, let's detect. Beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Robot heart? Oh, that. An Athanatos family heirloom. There. Thank you. You have a keen eye, young guard. Potential? I see potential here. Hmm. The Athanatos bloodline is extremely old. In fact, it dates back to before the founding of the Sprawl. And this locket has been passed down through each generation to get to me. It's far too powerful to hand over to the likes of you. Yeah, okay. I was already given it back. What do you mean by powerful? What power does it have? This locket has been the key to unlocking great power for all of my ancestors. What power? Oh, it's just like all purpose good power? Luck charms? That's disappointing. Yes, something like that. Yeah, Sauron. It did look, if it was just, if you just tinted it yellow instead, it would totally look like Sauron's eye. What, uh, um, uh, magic magician, magic girl, gladly welcome fallen wizard seeks, you know, for fall wizard, fallen wizard. Okay. I mean, even if he's a necromancer, I don't really care because I know the guy. Come on in. I do like your new hat. Suits you. Praetor Cargan will be most pleased by this. You actually did your job today. I did. Your parents must be so proud. Thank you. Bye, Essek. My dad, maybe. My mom's dead. Oh. Would you like me to do something about that? <laughs> um, maybe uh, later. Just go. Ding. You let the creepy guy into the sprawl, but it's not like you personally started raising animals from dead at St. Euphoria. Did you start raising? Did you get raise sprankles? Oh my god! Are you some kind of scary 
tree monster? It's an ant. <sighs> yes. Now let me in or I'll thwomp and stomp you. That's not nice. That's not very kind at all. Forest Ent. ETs. Stomp and thwomp. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Weaknesses, fire, axe, poorly administrative, and ad, ad, administrated town hall meetings, true neutral, climbable. <laughs> the story of the first transformation from mundane to tree to sentient mobile being is lost to history. These creatures are extremely dangerous, uh, but generally motivated by threats to their native territory. The bark of the forest ant E.T. is often the size of the site of cryptic magical runes and prophetic writings that can be deciphered with something along the lines of a decoder ring. I noticed you have something carved on your bark, but I can't quite make out what it says. Somebody carved it on me when I was a sapling. It was a mistake. Oh, are you Mind crying? If I try to read it? Okay. <laughs> It reads, to lodge all power in one party and keep it there is to ensure bad government and the sure and gradual deterioration of public morals. This song currently playing has a, a Final Fantasy prelude. Well, not anymore. The previous song had a Final Fantasy prelude. I think the songs in this game are all also references to other games. There's so much... There's so much creativity in this game. It's really impressive. Kudos to the developers for this. This is very well done. Uh, all right, to lodge all power in one party and keep it there is to ensure bad government and the sure and gradual deterioration of public morals. True. Does that mean anything to you? That was the words of person who came to words to write. I remember him, Mark Goblin Twain. He was inspiring to Scary Tree Monster. Talked about how to make change in world. Oh. And was it through stomping and thwomping? No, it wasn't. That was Scary Tree Monster's idea. He spoke of change through something called corrupt government systems. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's a better way to get people out of your woods. Maybe a more official way. Are you saying Scary Tree Monsters should run for government office to implement <laughs> real systemic change? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why not? I'd vote for you. <sighs> you go, little buddy. You go and... Uh, and invent systemic change. And what business would you say you have in the sprawl this evening? Too many people come through my woods. Too many strangers stomping on our roots and throwing their garbage on us. Me and my brothers and sisters say no more. That must be really hard on you and the other scary tree monsters. Not all are scary. I don't know if we should let him in. I mean, I want to support his cause, I guess. Well, I guess we could let him in and then he could go to the town hall and like apply for politics. So if people coming through your woods is bugging all of your plant friends, why didn't they all show up? Why just send you? Plant friends got together and decided Scary Tree Monster should go. Scary Tree Monster was voted the scariest and strongest and can walk pretty well. <laughs> so he was the one elected to stomp and thwomp. Can walk pretty well. Seems like you have a pretty democratic way of figuring things out in the woods. Yes. But we must still be wary of the tyranny of the majority. Well, buddy, 
You seem like a good guy at heart. Go on in. Do, 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 do. I don't fantasy. I believe in you, scary tree monster. I think you'll make a fine governor or congress tree or whatever you end up running for. Thank you. Now all I need is a snappy campaign slogan. A vote for me is a vote for a tree? A little on the nose. I'll grow on ya. You're barking up the right tree. You diverted the life path of a violent monster towards a life of politics and public service. Vote for Scary Tree Monster. <laughs> Full stars. Fantastic. Oh. Hello. I wish safe passage through this gate. It's you. From the Goblin Rebellion. I do. I'm just gonna need you to lift that hood. Gotta see if you're human or elf or gelatinous blob. We've had all types tonight. I'm afraid I can't do that. I assure you, I am human. Now please allow me safe passage. I think this is the princess. I feel fairly certain that this is the princess. She was sneaking around at the Goblin Rebellion. And I think she's sneaking around to inspect the actual life of citizens without people knowing that she is the princess and i feel like i just want to let her in with a little you got it should we x-ray her we can go back in time let's do it beep beep boop 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 beep 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 boop 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 Ding dong. Whoa, what's with the neck candy? A little out of place for someone dressed so discreetly. My necklace is none of your concern. So you stole it. I did not steal it. Then it was a gift? Yes, from my mother. Hmm. I wish I got a gift like that from my mom. Only thing I got from her was this hair. What? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take it. You know, I could keep this in order to get you to tell me more about yourself, but I won't. I greatly appreciate that. Greatly enough to tell me who you are? No. Aw, you're no fun. That emerald looked like the real thing. Maybe I should call one of the higher-ups about it. No. No, I trust you. Because I think you're the princess. Go on, buddy. Off you pop. Why? But something tells me I should let you enter. Maybe it's the necklace. Maybe it's the nothing else you've told me about yourself. <laughs> but I gotta follow my gut on this one. Thank you. The choice you made here today will not go unrewarded. Sweet. Tacos. What? <sighs> That's a good request. Make my reward tacos. Good call. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, I want some. Hooray! Oh, best prince. It's totally a princess. Absolutely 100% the princess. Something about her made you think you could trust her. Maybe it was the badass bling. Either way, tacos! Heck yeah. Two and a half. Oh, okay. Due to your middling job performance, you were... Paid 10 gold. That's not enough at all. Oh, just okay. Just home. Oh, yeah, we worked the night shift. I forgot. It's you! What are you doing here? Are you here to give me tacos? <laughs> no. Oh. I've come to reveal my true identity to you. So, no tacos? Princess. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I'm Desdemona. I knew it! Whoa. <laughs> Princess Desdemona? Subtle. Nah, I knew it all along. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Why split hairs? But what about the kidnappers? There were no kidnappers. I disguised myself and ran away. I'm sorry for all the commotion I've caused. But I had to get away to say goodbye to someone important to me before my wedding. I don't understand. Oh. I'm being forced to marry one of the suitors from these two rival kingdoms. Yeah, yeah, that's old news. What I don't understand is why you, a princess, are here talking to me about it. Shouldn't there be more official people that could play therapist? Like Stryker? Ash? Oh god. Oh, not Malcolm. Right. I know my father had faith in them. When I'm gone, your advisors will help maintain the balance. Blah, blah, blah. They want me out of the way so they can control my father's kingdom. They've never been good at listening to what I want or how I want to rule this land. Nobody listens to me. Sing it, sister. And now I'm being forced to choose between allying the Sprawl with the Kingdom of Petrard or the Marvog Empire. You mean Phineas the Pompous Prince or Cargan the Praetor Terror? And it doesn't even matter if I love them or not. At the end of the day, it's strictly politics. Lucky me. I mean, we... We could have talked about this over tacos, just saying. This is the first time in the game I've been okay being 12. Game? Is this I a game to you? The right choice. Tell me, Lil, what do you think of Prince Phineas? Don't like him. He's the worst. I have doubts. He might look like a prince out of a storybook, but he's not a good dude. Mm. And what about Praetor Cargan? What do you think? I mean, I have doubts about her as well. She's not. I wouldn't say she's great. I would say that she's scary, but probably means well. I have doubts. Look, I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't already planning my Halloween costume based on her look. But it sounds like she's got a lot of blood on her hands. I know their ways are different than ours, but come on. Well said. So if you were me, and you had the future well-being of the Sprawl in your hands, who would you choose? <sighs> Well, I would choose them because the Marvarians seem to be more protective. These people are just douchebags. <laughs> but yeah, where's the option for Beverly? Thank you for your honesty. I know my advisors have jerked you around, but I also know you don't always do what they say, and I like that. <gasps> you remind me of, well, me. Yeah, okay. And you remind me of me, too. If I was rich and beautiful <laughs> and influential. Oh, you are influential. You've changed the course of fate more than you know. I've noticed. It pops up right in the middle of the screen. Don't forget beautiful. I am also beautiful. The sun's coming up. <laughs> I must go. Ignored. I shall put my own heart aside and do what's best for the kingdom. But what is your heart? I want to know who... I really hope it's Beverly. It'd be so fun. Oh yeah! Although clearly a wa vampire, Count Heinrich von Paya was also a registered chiropractor with a pri private practice on the outskirts of the rapidly gentrifying Little Ogre Town neighborhood. After entering the sprawl, the Count went to his clinic to open for the night. He had a long list of appointments. The Swamp Thing needed an activator adjustment. A mummy needed a deep tissue massage. Some acupuncture with electric current was just the right thing for Frankenstein's monster's stiff neck. It was looking like it was going to be a typical night until an angry mob brandishing pitfork, pitchforks and torches showed up at Count Von Pyre's door. The horde was led by none other than Myrna Harkin local school teacher and leader of the Better Business Bureau. Although lumbars were being loosened, there was a steadily growing number of complaints about bitten necks and causes cases of anemia resulting from the Count's medical practice. She was there to put stop to it. 
Maybe it was the light of the torches reflected in their eyes, but it took just one look for Myrna at the, and the Count to fall madly in love. Or was it the fact that it was he's a powerful vampire? One of those things. The Count swooped down and lifted Myrna up out of the angry mob. He bit her at least three times and made her drink his blood to facilitate her own vampiric transformation. She left her gig at the Better Business Barrier and the Count welcomed his soon-to-be bride into his castle. Now, along with dealing with that pesky Van Helsing fellow who have kept trying to kill him, Heinrich also has to plan a wedding. Jeez. The afflicted man was safe... <laughs> He's just a werewolf. Safe from the transformator rays of the full moon, and even though he would have transformed, the thick iron bars would have protected everyone. <sighs> Although the good people of the Sprawl were safe from the wrath of his curse, the Murner was not spared the aggression of fellow inmates. Cornering him in a cell, they shanked him with a handmade shiv, leaving him there to bleed to death. Luckily, the shiv was, was whittled out of a silver spoon, miraculously curing him once and for all of the curse of the beast that attacked him so long ago. After a fortnight of recovering the prison's infirmary, the mourner was released back into society. Unfortunately, on his journey back to Scarborough, in the Shire of Bessarion, the mourner was attacked by a different werewolf and suddenly he's cursed again. Seems that it wasn't... If it wasn't for that bad luck, the guy would have had no luck at all. Oh. The Crown Prince of Pertard. Finnish pomp stumbled back to his lavish lodgings at the palace. Hungry and drunk, he lit a fire and put out, put on a pot of stew before passing out on the floor. He awoke next morning, having no memory of how he got home or why his room reeked of burnt off stroganoff. But he did remember the rager of a party thrown in his honor by the Mages Guild and the promise he had made to them should he be chosen to marry Princess Desdemona. The shapeshifter. This Mrs. Abernathy was no Abernathy at all. In reality, it was a horrible shapeshifting monster. Once in prison, the monster assumed the appearance of the warden. The guards, seeing their boss wrongfully imprisoned, released him immediately, and the creature is free to stalk the city streets. Once inside the sprawl, it... Well, we lost track of it. Having the ability to take the form of anyone made it difficult to track, so its whereabouts remain unknown. It was reported later that night that an unusually talkative guardsman Sizzle was trying to break its way into the Sprawl's armory, but being denied entry, guardsman Cecil apparently screamed in a high-pitched voice and ran off into the night. Be on the lookout for this creature. Could be anyone. Ooh. Upon entering the Sprawl, Teronius met Praetor Cargan and her attendants and divulged some secrets of necromancy. Ooh. This forged a bond between the Marbach Empire and the Mages Guild in exchange for a number of Raise Dead spells, as well as a commitment for additional ongoing services, the Marbach Empire vowed to align the guild's interests with their own if the prayer So the Mages Guild are just in with both. The Mages Guild are now just in the pocket of both pray the the Marbach and the Pomp Pompuses. Ooh. With dreams of holding a political office now planted in the scary monster's tree monster's head, he stomped his way right into the city clerk's office at City Hall and waited for it to open. The next day he obtained the necessary paperwork for to run for political office. Unfortunately, Scary Tree Monster didn't know how to read or write. Revealing his illiteracy made the city clerk's receptionist last laugh out loud, which angered Scary Tree Monster so greatly that he proceeded to thwomp her into oblivion. When the city clerk showed up to find finding no receptionist, they hired a scary three mon tree monster on the spot to fill the role as their political aide. Scary tree monster was now a small cog in the political machine, and would no doubt rise in the ranks to one day hold the title of counselor, or da dare we say, mayor. When Princess Desdemona returned to the castle, she refused to answer any questions regarding her whereabouts. She immediately issued a royal decree to cut funding to any active rescue missions and to put an end to the antiquated practice of choosing rescuers via flashy game shows. As she lay in bed that night, she reflected on the little guardsman advi guardsman's advice. 
She knew that her decision would irreversibly alter the fate of the sprawl and the fate of every soul who called it home. Jeepers. What a journey so far, eh? And although the princess has come home, she is still remaining quiet on where she was during her missing time, but frankly, I do not care. She's got that look at me, I'm back attitude, and it reflects in her smile. <laughs> you know it. She was seen returning to the castle, rocking those possibly with kidnapped leggings, all while sporting a I might have just run away and ran out of money <laughs> hooded cloak. What do you think she's gonna be wearing at the wedding? No idea, but no doubt it will complement her chosen spouse's home kingdom. That's right. Princess Desdemona has finally made her choice, and it's Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. I knew it was going to be them. It was the <laughs> obvious choice from the get go. Ugh, so, so totally obviously obvious. obvious. It's so, so, totally so obvious. So long, Prince Phineas Pomp of the Petrard Kingdom. You just didn't make the cut. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. So totally obvious. I bet she's gonna have to serve kombucha. So, she made her choice. Her life is filled with intrigue, and I feel like I am now somehow intertwined with her fate's path. Kinda, oh, yeah. well, off to go see what the gang's up to. Hum to dum to dum. Yeah, let's do one more day. There's a note from Dad. Oh. Dear Lil, here is some excuse why I can't work the guard shed today. Love, Dad. Back to the guard shed for me. <laughs> Wait a minute, where's the chronometer? I always leave it right here. Uh oh. Not in or under there. Game Boy. It's not in there. Game Boy. There it is. Phew. What's it doing under the bed? Spooky. I, I don't remember putting it there. Wait, what time is it? I don't want to be late. For a time machine, you'd think they could have at least put a clock on it somewhere. It was his wasn't there one? Still six, we're fine. I got you, babe. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Okay. Oh, hello. This whole wretched endeavor has been a disgrace, not only to Prince Phineas and myself, but to the entire history of Petrard. No, I'm terribly sorry. King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk will not sit idly by while their royal lineage is dragged through the mud. Um... What a baby. <laughs> no, let's not be mean. I'm sorry. On behalf of the spot, Better luck next I time. I sincerely apologize to the prince. I can assure you there was no malice intended on the part of the princess. Hmm. It just didn't work out. I really like, like, I feel like most of the choices that I make, when I motivate to myself why I make the choice, the game then says that same thing. I feel like we're on the same level, you know? Say what you will, your words and your sweet-smelling city will soon be drowned out by the musk of the sulfur mines of Petrard. Okay. May your home be exploded by a bottle of fine Petrardian fizzy. Boy. Well, that's not great. I feel like I was... I was the more couth. Extra from Jeremy. Uh, there's a general detaste for non humans. Remember Golden Root. Even in the face of total catastrophe, dignity always dignity. Okay. Extra from. I don't care. Reports indicate that a dramatic increase in secret meetings and rumblings of revolution. To admit a goblin is to be hit with a $40 fine. Damn. The wedding is almost upon us. Have your eyes open for when vendors and artisans making their way into the sprawl for the big event. I'll be in my office if you need me. Ash. That Wakandan prince I sent all my banking information to finally came through with my share of the gold. Call me if you're in a pinch. Rich in friends and gold, Malcolm. Oh, that's nice. It turns out the prince... The prince emails weren't ever a scam. It was always the truth. Uh, I like the decoder. Oof, four things. Oh, it's 
it's you. Michael. Hello, Will. What's up? What? No more Game sparkly show, suit? It was a rental. Besides, today I'm here in a different capacity to help coordinate the royal wedding. <gasps> you have a lot of jobs, Mike. <laughs> and wedding planning is my least favorite out of all of them. Tell you what, why don't you be the wedding planner for the day? What do you think? I think I'd it's like very that. irresponsible to get a 12-year-old girl to do two grown men separate jobs. All you have to do is choose the music, decorations, and food menu for the big event. It's simple. Just let in the one you like the best. Oh! Or the one you think the groom would like best. Or who the bride will like. I'm sure it's not really going to affect anything. Oh. Or it might. See, oh. it's simple. Do you want me to explain it again? No. <laughs> okay, good. The only thing I hate more than wedding planning is talking about wedding planning. Okay, so... The wedding musicians will be coming by for you to choose first. Here's the gold. See you later, Lil. Okay, cool. So... You have a 350 gold? Dude, Whoa, let's just this quit. Dude pays great! The money's not for you. Oh. There's three choices for music, food, and decor, and each comes with its own price tag. Oh. The gold is the budget for the wedding. Wait, music, food, and decor. So I feel like food is probably the most important decor. Food, music, decor in that order. What if I don't choose anybody? Do I get to keep all the money? Uh, you have to choose somebody. And the cheapest options might not make people happy. But if there's money left over, you get to keep it. Okay. I see. But if you go over budget, it'll have to come out of your own pocket. Okay. I see. <laughs> We're Fair on enough. a tight timeline, so keep an eye on your action points. You've got four per round, so that's talking to oh. everybody once or to two folks twice. You get the idea. Need that run what? by you one more time? Wait, I'm doing... No, I'm okay. Remember, you do the choose. Yeah, I f I'll figure it out. So I have okay, well, it's no big four. Just choose the three most important elements of any wedding and try not to stress that it's a royal one. You got this. Sure. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, hello? Hello, young lady, the name is Jacob Fiddlestein, and me and my accordion here play all the polka conga you kids are so crazy about these days. It's Weird Al. A one and two and polka conga two and three and polka conga three and one and polka conga, hey! Hoy, I nearly winded myself there. That's pretty good. Okay, what about you? Hello, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Hi. Suzette Courgette, and I sing <laughs> Suzette Courgette. with my voice. I oh. The slow songs and the nice songs and some of the ones you know. Okay. Example? What? Non-example? What about you? Vlad Extreme here, mate. I know what you're thinking. What is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skint royal wedding? Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their crap, mate. Rock and roll all life long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I would, out of these ones, I would pick the lady in the middle because she feels the most royal wedding classy-esque. However... It is also a wedding with the Klingons. So they would probably enjoy this one. However, it's probably funnier to pick Weird Al. So it's a real dilemma, eh? The nicest choice for a wedding, the choice the bride will probably like the most, or the funniest. Yeah. 
This should have Twitch inter integration. Or you could have people vote. Can I, like, use... Have you made up your mind? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, how do I know the price? If you love polka, one, two, three, four, have my polka, one, two, three, four, want my polka, one, two, three, four, well, it's a kaka, one, two, three, four. Oi. I think I only got one more with me. I'm gonna go with middle lady. Wait, how do I know what they cost? Is she like super expensive? Mm. Have you made up your mind? Yeah, I have. Oh! Oh, he is the most expensive. Oh, well that's not too bad then. I was gonna I was gonna say I want I wanna spend the most on the food because it's to me that's the most important part because that's the thing that people are gonna like remember the most I feel or like enjoy the most. So middle of the road for music is fine, and then we do low grade decorations, because that's less important. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, that is um so lovely of you. I'll start warming up right now. Yeah. Good choice, maybe. I'll write this down and be back when the next group turns up. See ya, kid. We'll see. Oh, okay. Well, if it isn't the Edward, the great magician. Got another group of brats to entertain? Where are you pulling a rabbit out of now? Where's your glasses? I'm afraid I've put my days of magic and illusions behind me. You got kicked out of the Magician's Union, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Seems people preferred the actual dark arts to my light entertainment. No matter, though, I've got a new career now. Oh. Working at your parents' garden shop? Psst, they wish. I'm a wedding officiant. I'm here to officiate the royal wedding. Damn. That's a, that's a step up. From failed birthday magician to royal wedding officiant? Really? Mm. You? Uh, I mean, you are? I am! Are you, though? Hey, I mean, I, I, not to be rude or nothing, but... Let me just give you a quick squirt. There you go. Squirt, squirt. I can't believe I couldn't make it as a magician. I'm devastated. But being a wedding officiant isn't that bad of a job, right? You're still performing magic. No. Oh. You're creating a bond between two people for the rest of their lives. Just like how you bonded together those magic rings. And those never came apart. Note to self, don't let the bride or groom allow you to do any magic tricks with their wedding rings. <laughs> oh, no, he's nice. You got it, buddy. Good luck. You'll do great. Good luck. Hope you find your glasses. Edward, the official officiant, I hereby grant you access to the sprawl to officially officiate the royal wedding. Well, technically I haven't been hired yet, so here's hoping I get the job. Thanks again, friend. We're not friends. Oh my God. Are Edward and I friends? I thought he had the job already. Ah, get out of here, you rascal. He changed careers just for a moment. Just maybe there was a way to help him. Yeah. Wait, was this the... F what did we just... No, continue. I was going to say, do I rewind him? Hello but there, I'm hello. back. On to the decorator candidates. I don't have to tell you how important the interior decorations and overall aesthetic of a wedding can be. I don't have to tell you, because I refuse to tell you. Anyways, here they are. Take your shot. Okay. Oh, it's you! Whoa, is this... Is this the Devil Wears Prada? Hello again, Mum! Thought I'd see my way down to do some decorating for the royal wedding. Oh. 
ain't much of a decorate per se, but I got my cerulean blue, blood red, and cadmium green with me. So I'd go do something with them, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> what about you, lady? Hello. Hello. I've got some grand ideas, you know, for how the royal wedding should be. Okay. You might not know it, but I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting the old do done. And apparently what's in these days is meat. Oh. Big bold slabs of meat on the wall. A it meat gives theme. An abattoir feel, so they say. So I guess I'd go with that. Okay. Well, we'll see. What's my budget? What about you? Who am I, you ask? Only the editor of the biggest wedding magazine in circulation right it now. It is! No one else I was right. can do the royal wedding justice, darling. Surely you've seen my work. It is the Devil Wears Prada. Just don't look in last year's issue, darling. I went on a real tangent about slaughterhouses one night, and my team printed everything I said. Blame the Quaaludes. This year, darling, we'll do something daring. Daring and bold, darling. Can you feel it? Wait, what? Have you made up your mind? No. I want to know my budget. Um. I tore a page out of the magazine for you to see. Just don't tell the salon. She has your torn page from a magazine depicting gala event with slabs of meat hanging. I, I mean, I guess... I guess meat is the theme. They both talk about meat. Have you made up your mind? Sure. Come on down, Helena Halfling. You have 250. Yeah, so then we can get the expensive food. Yeah. That's the sweet smell of my successful design ideas, which will smell just like actual butchered hanging meat. Yum. And it's set in stone. I'll write this down and be back with the next group. See ya, kid. Why meat? What is this theme? Meat slabs hanging up? I guess it will probably attract... Oh, it's you, the it mage. It is I, Articulous Flame Hands, a contestant you did not find worthy on the hit show So You Think You Can Save a Princess. I remember. Um, it's probably going to go over well with our Klingon bride-to-be, though. They probably like meat hanging all over the place. Not going to lie, that really stung. In any case, I have a message to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. Okay. So if there's nothing else, I will be on my way. Well, we'll see about that. Whoa, there's just nothing in you. Well, I'm delivering this message. Actually, now that I think of it, the fact that this message is so heavily coded is highly unusual. <gasps> What's the story with the necklace? <sighs> it's a family heirloom. Generations of powerful magic wielders have imbued their essence into this locket, so the story goes. Every member of my family has one like this. Okay. Pardon me for saying, but you don't sound super thrilled about it. Yeah, my family's yeah. not great. A mixed bag at best. Yeah, there's a lot of family heirlooms, eh? I hear you. Family can be tough. My dad normally works here, but he kind of left me in charge while he's off betting on Goblin Ball. And your mother? Nah, she, um, she died. Long time ago. How? I am so sorry. Here, take this locket. It brings me no joy, and perhaps it will bring you strength in the days ahead. Oh, oh, this guy's nice. I thought he was so smug before on that game show, but he's a wow, nice guy. thanks. I guess I made the wrong choice on that stupid Save a Princess game show. Huh, tell me about it. Oh, sorry, bud. Um, mm, okay, well, you say coded. I guess I can do this. Hey, can I see the letter you're delivering? Doot, doot, beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Incredible! Let me see. Wait, what? 
No. Such cannot be true. These renegade mages are more deeply embedded than I thought. I was sent to deliver this? Dear child, thank you for saving me from myself. Oh. I must flee and work to weed out the bad actors within the guild. Dark days lie ahead. Be careful. Your name was also mentioned in the letter. Oh, snap. Wait, you're... You didn't even know? They're just using you as a... As a pawn? Oh, poor guy. Huh? You helped to reveal some of the murky goings-on within the Mages Guild and saved Articulus becoming an accessory to it. Dum, dum, dum. All right, kid, can you feel it? We're almost done. Yay. This is the last hellish choice you'll have to make as a wedding planner. I, for one, cannot wait to be finished. Just hurry up and pick the food option for the wedding so we can get out of here. I'm not allowed to leave. You do sound like, whoa. You do sound like someone who really gets a party going. Monty's has the soup. That's oh, all it's say. Kelly! No, not Kelly. You're the one that made the kids hate you. No. Shoot, Kelly. Freaking Kelly. Good afternoon. I am here today representing Catering Corp regarding a contract to provide the sustenance for the large gathering known as the Royal Wedding. I feel like you're supposed to have head here in this gap. Because now your head sort of stops here and then it comes back here for a little weird lump and then your hat is on your hair only. I think someone's forgotten to fill in this space with skin. Catering Corp is willing to provide the base amount of calories needed to sustain such a high capacity event in return for appropriate remuneration. I am accompanied by samples of our food and a detailed list of ingredients available upon request. What's up? Jeez. Poor robot chef. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle François Saint-Francais, head waiter à la chaise de la maison. We provide the finest and the fanciest of delicacies for the newly married royal couple and their guests. Mais oui. Only the smallest portions for the highest prices, of course. Very chichi pompon for the snootiest of people. A place someone like you or anyone you know would never get into, no matter how hard you tried. Horn, horn, horn. I feel like the Brits got it this time, eh? Let's just... Let's just... Yeah, whatever. Have you made up your mind? Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like Catering Corp... That's probably quantity. This one is neither quality or quantity. This one is quantity over quality. This one is quality over quantity. Um, we could do this one and save 50 bucks for ourselves. No. I can't do that to the princess. Well, we'll go with the fancy food for the princess. Yeah, she deserves ah, it. Ah, c'est magnifique! <laughs> he laughs delightedly in French. Thank God this nightmare of a job is over. All the rest of you go home. Good choosing, kid. Thank you. Well, at least I hope it's good. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for messing up something like a royal wedding. No, I Anyways, didn't. Anyways, goodbye. I did well. They will be hungry? Nah, they'll be fine. Oh, hello. I am a citizen of the sprawl. It's the top speaker. to declare on my person and I demand to be allowed entry. Okay. Wait a minute. I remember you. You were the speaker at the, um, Viva La Gobble Lucien. Indeed I was. Today I understand that the doors to the sprawl are closed to my people. You have a choice. You either let me in and incur the penalty, or you arrest me. No, I'll I'm let sorry you in. That you are the one in this position, but I must take this stand. Yeah. For the good of us all, Viva La Gobble Lucien! No, that makes sense. Um, can I, like, just for fun, can I x-ray you, though? Nah. Let's just talk. What's I up? have no further statement to make beyond the following. 
I am a citizen of the Sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person, and I demand to be allowed entry. Okay, but you know that I'm... You know that I'm, like, on your side. You don't have to be rude, because now you're just coming off as one of those, like, annoying auditors that just, like, make fun of people of authority just to get a rise out of them. You know, there's a real hefty fine for letting goblins into the sprawl. With the wedding coming up, security is at an all-time high. Can you pay for your own fine and I'll let you in? I am a law-abiding citizen of the sprawl. Why should my being a goblin impact the security of anything? I demand to be allowed entry. Well, that didn't help. I mean... I'm gonna have to, like, sell... I'm gonna have to sell this locket. One of the lesser amulets of power. It grants the wearer the ability to cast Hellish Rebuke. Which comes at handy at family reunions. Oh. What happens if I let him in and I don't have the money? Should we just prison him? Turn him away? What happens if I just deny? Not good enough. I'm not leaving. You want me to go? Call the other guards. I can't afford to let Either you I in. Either I walk through these gates or I go to prison. The choice is yours. I don't want to prison you. I'm going to let you in to see what happens. You can go back in time. I literally can't. I can't do anything because I don't have the money. I have to. Not cool. I get it. You're just following orders. I am going to prison on behalf of the Goblin Liberation Army. Yeah, you can be a martyr. This is this is gonna strengthen your cause, okay? Don't worry about it. Oh, this gob, this poor goblin is in jail because you're too poor. Sucks to be you. Hey, uh, <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? I don't have the money. Forty dollars is a lot. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for. Uh, say, you there, little girl? I, I need to get to the other side of the sprawl without delay. Oh, you look I need cool. you to listen to me. This is time sensitive. I know you got your instructions, but it's important that I get going quickly. Well, now you're making me suspicious. Beep, beep, beep. I was kind of thinking the cart, but... Did you swallow... Uh... That's my chisel. I'm a sculptor. Oh. That makes sense. Thank you. I'll need that. I figured. So, block a marble under the cart, yes? I swear someone was supposed to give you guys a heads up that I was coming. Let me spell it out for you. I went to school to become an ice oh, sculptor. Ice. My parents said, you'll never make a living at it. And they were right. Until the royal wedding, that is. This is my big break. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. I sculpted it. Now I have to deliver it. It's hot out. Just let me through so I can prove my parents wrong. Yeah, no, you got it. You got it. Sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. I'll try to get you on your way. Thank you. You have been an immeasurable help in the battle for my parents' approval. It's okay. Hey, developers, are you okay? I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Checks out. I mean, thank you, but my work is probably ruined. You're just doing your job, I suppose. I might be able to salvage something. Gotta go. See you later. Boop, boop, boom. Um, you let her in, but her sculpture was unrecognizable. Okay, should I just have, like, not done anything? Oh. To whom it may concern, your choices for the wedding 
displeases the Praetor? You will receive no bonus? What? No Kapla for you? How? They still wrote Kapla there at the end. But I picked good, good music, good decor, and awesome food. Oh man, ten gold. Should we redo this day? I feel like we should redo this day. Let's redo this whole day. Screw that, stupid. Let's time travel. This is the whole point of this anyway. So, hopefully then I get to repick those, right? Because we should probably go with the catering guy. Hello. This hell ring me Sorry. On behalf of this May I Okay, we'll, well do this bit. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum Okay. Uh spray X ray whip decode Let's not go whip. Let's go metal. No. Spray. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking we'd do Michael. Ozzy Osbourne music, and then we do middle food and good uh, fantastic deco maybe we'll see hello will Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, right. Ozzy, no Meryl Streep. Just choose the three most important elements of any. Yeah, yeah. Ozzy, Meryl Streep, and Middle Food. Vlad Extreme here, mate. I know what you're thinking. What is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skit royal wedding? Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their crap, mate. Rock and roll all life long. Who are you supposed to be? Ozzy... Slash... What's his face? Jack Sparrow? As it turns out, I left my amplifier on the bus, mate. It must be sitting there right next to my Pop awards it. and trophies, mate. So let's cut the fuss and let me through, right? Because as we all know, everybody likes the sound of what Daddy Vladdy is putting down. Extreme! Talk more. Oh, I can't. Okay. Have you made up your mind? Yeah. Extreme. Good choice. Surely she would not mind that, Praetor Kapla. Well, if it isn't the Edward, the... Okay. You I'm gonna say we yeah. x-ray this We're... guy. Re Maybe we'll find his glasses again. Hey yo! <laughs> Every time. That's where I wrote down all my notes on how to be an officiant. I wouldn't be able to do my job without them. <laughs> my glasses! <laughs> Thank you, Lil. Yes, I keep them right here in my pocket. I'll put them on right away so I don't lose them. You should get those, like, strings that old you people know, have. You can see where you're going. Should I call someone? 
Murloc efficient. I now pronounce your. Um, keep your eyes open for vendors, artists, and making their way through the big problems. Ash, call volcano prince. Okay, right. Um, I guess. No. You can just. Go? Go on, bud. Daddy Vladdy. We've, we've elected Edward, to go with Daddy Vladdy. I hereby grant you access to the sprawl to officially officiate the royal. Well. Ta ta! What else could I do? Maybe there was a way to help him. How? Hello. So, Streep? Who am I? You just. Here's my Pinterest board, which is totally a thing that exists in the world of this game. Ooh. As if by magic, images of a wide array of impeccably decorated events appear. Wow. Magical. Yeah, because, uh, except for the politeness, general detest for non-humans, but hard, rim of the golden room, in dignity, dignity, delicate beauty, delicate beauty rules the day when it comes to the meal. So they want fancy food? Delicate beauty when with the meal? Meat in the air. Oh, wait. That's for the other ones. I was going to say. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, why do they have that when we know we're wedding this? Um, yeah, so we want the hardcore f music. And then we want... Oh, cheap food? Oh. They want her. But I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting big gold slabs of meat on the wall. It gives things a real abattoir feel, so they say. Yeah, they want they want slabs of meat. Have you made up your mind? So that does leave me then with 50, 50 bucks ideas, for a goblin. Smell just like actual butchered hanging meat. Sweet. And it's set in st Get out of here, Buster Brown. Oh, hi, hi. It is I, Arctic. Not going to lie, that really stung. So if there's... Was I gonna do... What Did I do something with you last time? Was I... Did we squirt him? Oh, it is getting harder and harder for mages to communicate openly. So everyone is resorting to this secret message close between us. There's talk of mages dabbling in the magic that dares not speak its name. Eek! I, I kind of felt like something was wrong with the mages guild, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Yes. It is still within control, but if this dark faction keeps pursuing its dark goals, Dark days lie ahead. Dark. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I need to metal detect him or if I could just decode straight away. Or squirt him? Let's just see if I can decode. Hey, can I see the letter yeah. you're delivering? Beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. I just need to decode this so that he realizes the truth. Incredible. Perfect. I'm perfect. I must, I must away. And then that happens. Ding. Good. Then came the uh, food. So we are utilitarian about food. Oh, but then we have to hire Kelly. I don't want to hire Kelly. Monty's has the soup. Stupid have you made up Kelly. your mind?
Oh yeah, the heirloom. Ah, we don't need it. Yeah. I guess. We look forward to making it a super event. Thank God this night. Whoa. Well, I don't like Kelly though. Oh, I don't want to support her food. Fine, it'll do. Oh hi hi. A citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing. Wait a minute. I'm Viva la Gobolucion. Get out of here. You've got a lot of backbone, kid. You're standing on the right side of history. You should come by the GLA headquarters again sometime. On behalf of the entire GLA, thank you. Viva la Gobolucion! Okay. Don't be rude, though. Being rude isn't gonna... Oh. Maybe there was a way to get around paying the fine? Oh. Hmm. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for... Uh, I need you to listen to me. This is time. Okay, I'm just gonna let you in straight away as well. Good luck with the eyes. Yeah, there's a way around I can't it. thank you enough. I'm sorry for coming in hot. Weddings are the worst. If you can get close enough, take a look at my sculpture. I'll throw something in there just for you. Huh. Gotta go. Bye bye Nice. <laughs> That's it. In as quick as possible. Oh yeah, of course. Um, your choices has been deemed acceptable. Accept this gold as token for honoring the ways. Kapla. How much? I got a hundred gold for that. For picking the best stuff. Well, the right stuff. Worth it. Oh, but now I feel bad about... Okay, well, that's okay. I would like to fix... Paying the fine for the goblo, but that's okay. Kapla. What? I have a very bad feeling about this. Um. Hey. Salve il puer. Regno meo grata. Excuse me? Hello there, girl. Welcome to my realm. I need to get out of here. And fast. Quido Ruiz, curparum mudimus. <laughs> What's the rush? Stay and play a while. Think, Lil. Think. Hospices in hoc regno, atulistina dona solita, ic requiritur imulatio, ircis immortem vitare velis. Right. Uresa, non costuditus avira, paucatangu momenta avis andaquam tu consumam. Well, that's what I was thinking. You want a sticky bun? Non yocari, nunc facere maliquida, si es antibi. Ergo sum dino, ejeos meam cisio et similes omines inox necau. Truth spray. These tools aren't working. Nun incipiam, te decem antiquam te imperficio. Te jail. Sige, bene. Te jail. All right, you can come. Octo. Oh. Septem. Six. Quinque. Six. Quatro. Tres. Duo et demidio. Duo. Unum et demidio. I know you're counting down, but... Gravissime non omnibus hoc facio. Hoc extremum fato est refactende unde venistis. I don't speak Latin. No se haedus. I run out. No! I die. Mortis. A demonio terribly ceases. Decoder, but it doesn't have any battery. 
My ring doesn't have any battery. Maybe it works anyway. You kill? You again? Think, Lil. Mm -hmm. Think. Hospice says he that blah 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 for sure. Can I like These tools are abira. Come forty dollars. Ego sum. Yeah, alright. Go back more. Go back sad. Phew. What the f was that? <laughs> that was next level. Freak out. Why is it actually so freaked out that she's at a complete loss for words after having stumbled across time and space and having gone toe to toe with an interplanar demon? I'm gonna go down to the dig site to throw this stupid time machine down a deep hole. Okay, Lil, get it together. You can still do this. <laughs> huh. So, accidentally ran into the devil. Well, oh, okay. I have some questions. Ahoy, hoy. I'm scary. You've got to take it back. Sh got two real <laughs> chronometer 3000 thing today. I don't want it anymore. Hi, B. So nice to see you, B. Your paper in the Journal of Dwarven Medicine was a revelation, B. Well, excuse me, but I was just pulled into what I'm guessing oh, is a parallel dimension me. and was murdered repeatedly by a demon. Actually, just the ones. Hmm, how unfortunate. I always wondered what the byproduct of St. Bartholomew Inglebrook's lunar incantation would have on the relationship between time and interplanar folding. Well? Stop it. I don't care about any of that. Just take it back. Dormammu, I have come to uh, bar uh, barter. I'm sorry, I truly am, but we've come too far. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I've been watching, and the readings I've been receiving have been very promising. Sweet. I don't care. But you would care if everything and everyone you knew and loved was at risk. Bargain. Um, wait, what? Everything might seem like we're in a storybook, but open your eyes. We're on the verge of a civil war from inside the walls. And if you hadn't heard, the princess just pissed off some very powerful people. It is in your best interest to continue to help me with the device. Because who knows when we will need to rewind time and unf*** something more important than which nobody you chose to send to the dungeon today. Rewind time and unf*** something more important? It was the demon. It was the and devil. Here. After allegedly going toe to toe with an interplanar demon, I trust. You. Oh, whoops! I'm not gonna keep doing this forever. You and everyone else are gonna owe me a childhood, you know. Yeah. Princess keep helping me way. with the chronometer three thousand, and we can see about making that happen for you. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't really know. Okay, well, for sure we're going here. Now I don't really know. Is, is, who's good? Is anyone good? Is the princess? Oh, hello. Good? Are those Pringles? Hello? Hello? I brought the orange slices. Oh! Was today a regular meeting day or one of those top secret planning for what's going to happen at the princess's wedding days? Is anybody here? I'm here. Are you here for the meeting? I don't think so. Oh. Then you can't have any orange slices. Oh. But I'm I'm here to un some shit. So, some Sorry. Those aren't orange slices. Those are just the rinds. I was gonna say. I got hungry. 
Well, there's still slices of orange. They're just less meat. This image has started to appear all over this probably with a couple of zoom. I like this little military march. It's amazing that the GLA keeps their head Carter secrets. This place is huge. Testing, testing. What is the deal? T testing, testing. What is the deal with mole people? Hello? Is this thing on? Genius. What's this? Oh. I've gone back to where it started to find myself in light. We were apart for more than a lifetime, but now it will be right. P.S. Remember to bring running shoes. <laughs> I have a feeling the GLA leader wrote that. At least, oh. I'm sure that troll over there didn't. I wonder what it means. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we don't have the pendant. The, the, pen, the magic pendant. We could have sold it otherwise. Huh. But... I better get more oranges before the meeting starts. Unless I messed up the day again. Nah, you'll be alright. Uh, I'm gonna go. But if he's a troll, what was the huge one-eyed lady? A cyclops, maybe? <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh, hello. Oh, look at your little hat. This hat... It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it, it continues. continues. My journey, it continues. Hello? You've been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Yeah, I'm gonna power up my arsenal, right? Actually, I do. Um, I would like another decoder and another... Nothing, actually. Just more of these. Peace. Why can't I sell the rice, though? Actually, are my friends here? Oh, nope. Hmm. Yeah, what is the full whip used for? Whipping people. You just whip them. Whip the truth out of them. Oh, hey, you got a new head. Ah, here she is. The little guardsman who spoke to the princess and secured the union between the Sprawl and the great Marvog Empire. That's me. Yay! Yeah, I did. Told her just what to do and she listened to my every word. <laughs> I admire your complete lack of modesty. Modesty is such an ugly thing. Let us celebrate with a tankard of blood wine. Kapla! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm 12. I can't drink alcohol. Haha, <laughs> never fear. There is no alcohol in Marvok blood wine. Just blood. In a big cup called a tankard. Yeah, I'm a hard pass on that. Kapla! Ha, ah, very well. There will be much blood wine at the royal oh, yeah. wedding where this sprawl and just Marvok on. tie their fortunes together forever. Okay. Let us raise a glass to the gatekeeper who brought us all together this day. <gasps> Me! Kapla! Kapla! Did a mouse sneeze somewhere? Come, child, louder and with fury! Kapla! Too furious, far too furious! Oh, sorry. We are not at war! Be careful shrieking like that! But as we say in Marvog, better to be too furious than not to be furious at all. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if, if that's the best mentality to have. I shall now recite but... the Marvag Pledge of Unwavering Loyalty. Uh oh. As is our custom. And that's my cue to leave. As is tradition. Put on a tune. No. 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 I like this one. <sighs> what else are we doing today? Is anyone else? Oh, no one else is here. 
Lil, can you be on the lookout for a health inspector? They can look like anybody. How about you whistle if you think you've identified one? Okay. I can't whistle. No. Oh. Well, then scream health inspector at the top of your lung. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> well, then go to bed, I think. I think I've done everything I need to do. Yep. <sighs> oh, yeah, wrap up. <clears throat> Once he made it inside the sprawl, Edward went to work trying to find people who A. wanted to get married and B. needed someone to officially marry them. After hours of approaching strangers who appeared to be in love on the street, he finally gave up. He slumped down on the stairs of the city council chamber. Suddenly, councilwoman Ash burst through the massive oak doors and practically, practically tripped over him. After demolishing the stranger with a vicious series of cutting one-liners, she thought to inquire as to why Edward was dressed like a wedding efficient. Edward told her, and she covered up the fact that she had forgotten to hire someone by hiring him on the spot for the royal wedding. Edward the official efficient was officially offered the gig to preside over the royal wedding. On the one hand, he felt he had struck gold with this being his very first professional opportunity to try his hand at the thing he'd set his sights on a few hours before. On the other hand, his utter lack of basic competency made him nervous, so nervous that he might make uh, a critical mistake in front of so many high-ranking and well-armed individuals. At times like this, Edward would remember the words of his parents to hold him as a child. Edward, we don't care what you do in life, just don't become an amateur child's birthday party magicians. So no matter how poorly it went, at least mom and dad would be pleased. Oh, that's nice. Art. Articulous flame hands, panicked at the discovery of the contents of the letter that he has been charged to deliver to the Mages Guild, and raced home to this to his tower. Once safe behind magical wards, he conjured a ferret to eat the letter, so no one else could be burdened with the truth of what the Mages Guild was planning for the sprawl. Sadly, because he knew what he knew he lacked the strength or skill to continue. While burdened with this disturbing information, he cast a selective memory spell on himself, causing the mage to completely forget about the letter and its contents forever. With a wave of his wand and a muttered incantation, Articulus became blissfully ignorant once again. But do you know who didn't forget the letter? The ferret, Articulus conjured to eat the evidence. The surprisingly literate animal managed to catch quite a bit of it before he polished the papers off. How was it supposed to live its ferret life now, knowing what it knows? Sure, sure, it was only a foot-long charismatic little praetor, predator <laughs> with the body of a chubby weasel, but he was no chicken. The ferret knew it w could inspire others to take up arms at his side, not just rodents and mustlids warriors. But the sky creatures, too. With their combined strength and superior numbers, they could easily conquer anything the Mages Guild would throw at them, and the sprawl could, would, would be saved. Step one, regurgitate the letter. Unfortunately, the sound of a retching ferret caught the attentions of Articulus. Thoroughly mind-wiped, the mage had zero recollection as to why he'd conjured the ferret in the first place, but he was damn sure it wasn't so it could throw up on his nice rug. The mage unsummoned the ferret before it could get the conscience of its stomach up, and as a result, the fate of the sprawl remained uncertain. The enigmatic goblin walked through the gates of the sprawl and disappeared. He either had gone completely unnoticed or was adept at losing anyone who would seek to follow him. His fate yes, is yet unknown. Iris Lapidary, the ice sculpture, reached the refrigerated storage depot at the palace just in time, before the hot sun's rays could render her masterpiece a melted mess. She celebrated her victory at a club in the local in the little ogre town neighborhood that catered to females of all species who tended to have spiky haircuts, badass tattoos, copious piercings, and who loved to dance the night away while listening to dwarven heavy metal music. The Devil! Damon Nunquam Creaturnum Vidurat Sicus 
Custos lil, qui passim quorum, eo illo die apparut, verbum non et talic sit dicens, et tandem im diu evanescence, part peri sine omni experientia. Si honest summus. Il dim asperitum habibat et cert non melior factus est. Ab aliqua puella per intervalla interclusa. Ut dim sum tenere posset. Nerva quo derodum. You know? Of course. Those things. It makes sense, now that you think about it. <gasps> Good morning! You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm Dodger, joined by my new co-host, The Quack. Oh, he's back! The Quack's back. For those of you wondering where the ham is, well, it turns out he got an invitation to the royal wedding happening today. As lunch. Of course, he won't be wearing a tuxedo. He'll be in head-to-toe honey glaze. Well, if you don't like the jokes I tell, you can do it yourself. I told the producer I refuse to work with a duck. <laughs> oh, poor duck. <laughs> That's just the duck left. Well, anyway, you know what? The time has come to click this button. Because it's the end. Bup, 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 bup. <gasps> There's Mr. Zabernathy. Um, but this is a fun game, is, isn't it? It's so weird, and it's so like, it's so creative. It's so it keeps surprising you, and then it like seems super wholesome and like family friendly and then suddenly they just like start cursing or someone kills everybody or the devil shows up i like it it's fun yeah we gotta we gotta keep it going we gotta continue it and see see where things take us uh actually can i see oh whoops let me see if i can see how much i have done Oh yeah, 59%. So, yeah. One more... Oh no, I don't want to clear my slots. Go back. Oh. We'll do more. Finish up uh, in, in one more stream. I don't know when. Probably... See, this is the, this is the problem with... Starting a game on a Monday, because then we have work stream and then emote stream, so we won't have gaming stream until Saturday. We should uh, we should rethink we re rethink our things. Maybe I'll start streams earlier as well. We'll see. Um, I'll let you know though. I'll keep you posted. Tomorrow I'm going to the clinic. So that'll be interesting. I don't know what they want. All I know is that they did want me to have taken or have gotten my blood tests done before coming to them, and I haven't. Ooh. So we'll see if they like fire me. Um, but anyway, for now, it is the end. My donut, my donut. I am a donut. <laughs> no, I, I hopefully it, I have a valid excuse. They refused to do my blood tests more times because my ID was mismatched. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Uh, and hopefully my eyebrows heal more good and uh, I won't have to get too much laser. Anyway, farewell. Credits. There they go. See who's on the naughty list today. There's like a
like a weird flicker there. See, there's like one frame of flip right when the thing unrolls. I don't know why. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> See you next time.